Welcome everybody to Platchad Valorant, episode 154. Today, I'm feeling born to podcast, and thank God I've got an all-star <laughs> roster with me. Brennan Hook, live in the flesh, sweater on deck, Wilkinson core. Avast is here, <laughs> straight out of the, the quarterly report meeting, he's back. And Sliggy, we were talking about, for some reason before the show, there was this thing that everyone was in like a bad situation or yeah, something was going we're all on. just despairing. Yeah, and I was like, Sliggy, you too? And he said, no. <laughs> no, actually, yeah. life is good. <laughs> yeah, actually, everything's pretty good when it's just a woman involved around Valorant and you don't set outside too much. It's, uh, yeah, not much. Can go to <laughs> Have you found... Again, living so in the true. world of Valorant. So true. <laughs> Have you found enough to do during this off-season, Sliggy? Are you having with yeah. co-stream withdrawals? No, I'm, I'm actually all right. So I, I'm doing the coach potato stuff with many. So like, I'm, I'm kind of just talking to many loads of making, uh, I'm trying to ISO pill everyone at the moment. I'm, Dude, ISO's I'm a big, good. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so a big ISO you. believer. I'm, I'm a big ISO believer. So I'm, I'm, I'm like making, you. Making a premier guide at the moment, just focusing on ISO. Got some good combos, dude. I think it's a strong agent. I like it. Mini does. Mini doesn't agree. So I'm mainly trying <laughs> to convince Mini first, and then convince people that are willing to to join Coach Potato. So um, yeah, I like it. I think it's a strong agent. It's uh, has potential, like I said. Yeah, the vulnerables are crazy. You get two of them. They go far and that's, fast. That's the thing, dude. This is the thing. Mini Mini's like, oh, I don't think the agent's good. And then I'm doing these strats, and he's like, oh, you can't do this one. You've used two vulnerables into a round. I'm like, Mini, you don't even know that it has two vulnerables. I was like, this, <laughs> like this agent is good. You can't have a, you can't have an opinion on it if you don't know what the agent does yet. So, yep. yeah, I like it. I think it's good in team play if you're a. Uh, you're running fast strats if you're if you're yeah. ready to go outside of the the circle of the meta. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm rolling. That's I like this. <laughs> Why is what's going on? The camera? Very out of focus. Hello. All right, we're back. Hi. No, Sliggy. I'm with you on ISO. I like this straight out the gate. No games, Brent. <laughs> we're, we're taking this straight to Valorant. We are not. There's no games being played today. <laughs> um, listen, we're already talking Reddit's about agents. We're talking about abilities. Let's get in to the ish. Deadlock buffs. But will they be enough? Will they be enough? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you want to kick this one off? No. Okay, Sliggy, you want to kick <laughs> this one off? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll kick this one off with a, with a no, they're not enough, right? I, I think they're not enough. It's, it's only, well... It's a, it's a leak, right? First of all, or is this no? It's they they published the patch notes yeah, now for this is on seven point ten. Yeah, this is oh, okay, yeah, this looks pretty official. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's just it's just the grav net then. So it's just increased time of the grav net, just from zero point eight five to one point five seconds for the audio listeners have been watching. Um, <laughs> and, and, and the radius. I'm a, I'm a, I'm Let's a go. TDM, We're back, baby. <laughs> TDM audio listener player. That, that's me. But I'm a TDM <laughs> listening to what you guys have to say. So yeah, this one goes out to all of those. Um, and the radius is increased, right? Six, six to eight meters. Yeah, the radius. The well, and then time. also it affects everything. Like pretty much all the like initiator or not initial, but the dual stations like jet as well. Like it actually because before you could just get the fuck out of there, you know, if you ever got caught at all. But now it actually affects the amount of distance you travel to with yeah. movement abilities. Yeah. It's a, and it's it's it a, applies it's weakness. What is weakness? What, I was no. Nah, so I see I was talking to many about this and I was like, dude, they keep changing names of stuff. Is the weakness just not that they can't move? Like like the gravity thing. The gravity and thing, maybe. I mean I mm. When, when uh, maybe they just do less damage, I don't really know what it does, to be honest. They didn't really specify. Unless but, it's like a new term. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But I, I don't think it's enough to really put her in pro play at all, or even just like, I mean, maybe ranked as well. Ranked, you can just run whatever because it's just, you get shot, you die, you know? So it doesn't really matter. But the but pro play, not really. I was like saying this on stream. You need like, you need a few things like for most pro play comps to work you need like a gap closer which is usually filled by like a duelist you need info gathering which is usually filled by like a, an initiator or passive info that sentinels can give you right like passive map control or like a cypher cam or something like that um and then you need smokes as well and smokes also like kind of fill in the same thing with with um with that kind of passive map control and that, and that aspect and just there's only five slots for for characters and for what deadlock provides and does she doesn't she doesn't really give you information. She's not good at holding flanks. She's a reactive 
a reactive sentinel so that's like in the same way that sage is but i sage is just better like you just rather have a sage than a than a deadlock right in, in if you're going to run it at all which sage doesn't even get run run that much in in pro play so i i don't know she just needs something else she needs something to just get a get her in there in terms of just outvaluing the other sentinels or maybe just whatever else that could be i mean maybe some just like info grabbing i don't know a change needs to happen though i don't think it's going to be just making her the rest of her kit more powerful um, in that way, I think it just needs to like fundamentally change in some way or form. Maybe even just her trips, like actually working rather than off sound. Um, they just work any, if you just walk in range yeah. of it. I, I, would, I would like to see just uh, one trip, get rid of two of them, one trip, but make it so it actually works and it's yeah. off sound. And, and then, then I think it's actually in a pretty good place. Like some fast strats would work well with this nade now. Yeah. Um, and then it actually seems a bit viable. But yeah, until the trip is good i just don't think it's a thing it's just too useless on attack uh, unless people can make this molly work or the nade work really well on attack with like some fast strats and then it's good in the after plant I, I just don't see it becoming a thing unless the like you said unless the trip gets good yeah especially because like comparatively the cypher with the new trip changes like if you're running the sentinel why would you ever like why would you not pick cypher essentially or killjoy yeah with like how strong they are over you know, over exactly the, you're just block. not I mean, you're like, not out value it just doesn't them. make any sense it just doesn't yeah. make any sense there's no value there yeah total agreeance feel like there's especially with the uh cypher buff right the, the cypher buff's crazy the right? cypher buff yeah, is man. nuts yeah. like i mean that's, they actually made him green as fuck he's so eco dude he's reusing oh. he's reusing like <laughs> he, i mean that shit's crazy that's actually so strong <laughs> Sorry, it looks like I'm looking down because I'm I'm currently trying to get through blueberries. I'm flushing through blueberries right now. So I'm also gathering. <laughs> what are you I'm fucking foraging gathering. in a bush? <laughs> well, I have a big bowl, but some of the blueberries, you know, sometimes you don't you get some stinkers, you know. And so I'm trying to pick around the stinkers. Yep. While I eat, this well, is my hunter gatherer lifestyle. Let's see the bowl. Yeah, can, you sh can you pull it yeah. up to the camera? Well, there's not very much left. I mean, I, I got I've gone. I've just don't be shy. <laughs> oh no! You can see there's a stinker. Off. Yeah, there's that a one stinker right there. Yeah. You, don't want, you don't want to eat those. There's one, no. there's, one, there's one in here. Oh, no, I have to redo it again. I have to resort. Okay. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's. I think we're cool on deadlock buffs. We've gone in the. Ah, we the went little, into the lab. We, we passed the talking pillow around, and we all just agree, so we can yeah. move on. <laughs> um, all right. The talking pillow. Yeah, I just. Uh, yeah, I. It's you a know, relative to the Breaking Bad. <laughs> the Breaking Bad it's episode, different. season oh, one, yeah. episode four. All Holy right. Shit. Um, I bet it's season one, episode four. And if it isn't, I retire from Breaking Bad trivia. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's talk VCT Pacific details. Into that for 2024. This is like, so there was an interview with the uh, VCT Pacific leader, Riot Jaker. And they talked about... Uh, some of the scheduling, how things were, you know, tightly. This, the schedule represents a pack of sardines at the moment. <laughs> it's just everything is filled in and, you know, yeah. they want to expand that out a little bit. Give the team some, some more time because that has been a common well, but, critique. But I don't think they're going to be able like to. But not until like 2025, right? Yeah, they, because, because, I mean, it was, it was very vague. It was like um, there won't be a significant increase in the amount of time between competitions which could mean anywhere from the same amount of time to none <laughs> to like less time between competitions. Like everything I've heard has been that 2024 is going to be a brutal schedule for like teams involved because you've got 11 teams, yep. it's more matches and the the season essentially, um, I put in a thing around the, the VCT China cut in the article a bit deeper down, which is relevant to this because um, we, I was, I've just been trying to hunt for information about the, um, the, the VCT China evolution. No, no, no. That, that was the, that, oh, was, that was the article good. in Korean. Wait, can we go do this? Can we go do this? That was the article in Korean, but the, um, Brent, you've been doing Duolingo. What does I can, it say? I can maybe read it. It's read pretty this, far read away. This. Read that. Yeah. yeah That's, read this. uh, ne... in English. I don't know a Korean. Oh, well, hold on. Let me read it in Korean first. And then I, I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to do this. Ne, ne, nien. Uh, none. 
don't know what that is, but it's like that's the subject because the subject mark is at the end. I don't know. I've been doing I've been doing dueling for a week. <laughs> no, you kind of you, you so, had me convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know. Me what I, I don't know Korean what audio listeners, can we uh, get some help on that? Korean audio listeners, can we get some help, please? Yeah, we'll, no, we'll, we'll get a multicultural <laughs> king. <laughs> Um, it's a, it's a China article, but the reason yeah. I wanted to bring it up is because China is doing their system. Like Kurt, you you posted in like our runner show that you thought it was like uh, it, the winner it gets into the partnership or like it, it decides the top eleven partnerships or whatever. It's it's they're doing ascension first. It's for the ascension. So literally, the winner of the tournament that that comes out of this like Act Three or whatever has to play ascension first, and then the partnership teams are decided. So it's like inverse. And I was just thinking, I was like, do EDG even want to win this? Like, if they if they call for ascension, like, but but this is the, this is the reason why the schedule is going to be from from my from my perspective i think this is going to be like horrifically packed uh for next year we're already having issues with, with burnout from players as well and a lot of other people that are working in the scene and um it, it feels like it's probably going to be even worse in terms of just like rest periods and um and time that we actually have because of them having to fit in the the china ascension and the partnership teams and everything else right. i mean it's it's going to be taking like december to january basically what is that going to be 45 teams next year total Am I counting? 44. Or 40, yeah. 44? Yeah. 11 teams in uh, each region, four regions. Yeah. So. Oh, I mean the year after that. But I guess that's even... Wait. <laughs> no, it's more than that because don't they add more? Is, they then add is, more it'll be 48 like, yeah. the year teams after that. Yes. And there's one yeah, more team for region. Yeah, one region. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my. yeah, that's a... Uh, we'll keep track of all that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we'll be able to name every player on every Chinese yeah, team, I guarantee of course, it. Of course. <laughs> oh, my God. But, that's but, a lot of players. That's why I brought that up because in the article, he's like talking about the scheduling, but I just can't... I can't see a world where it's better than... Or it's like they, they're giving more time. I just can't see a world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's the case. Yeah. Well, they pretty much said that they're not like, didn't they essentially said like, it's not happening this year. They, they, he pretty much said that no, essentially no schedule changes are happening until 2025 for the most part. Seems like 2024 is just like, yeah, you're fucked, bud. But like <laughs> yeah. 2025, like yeah. then like you're good after that. Like they pretty much, he pretty much all went started that we will consider planning ahead distributed rest time appropriately in 2025. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah. they literally just said, not nah, you're fucked. Yeah. So God. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Cause uh, I mean, and I highlighted this like earlier on when they were talking about like the, even just when they announced the masters for China, I was just like, bro, if in these dates, this all doesn't make sense. Like it's just way too compact, mm -hmm. like, dude. I'm worried for EDG as well. Like EDG are just playing nonstop. Like, yeah. They're playing this tournament, like you said, and then they're gonna have to go into like a brutal format as well. These guys are crazy. They're playing like every week at the moment. Basically, they just no haven't had an off season. Off. Yeah, it's it's no off season for them. So yeah, I hope um I hope other teams are actually having an off season at the moment because um yeah I think next year is gonna be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it's just inevitable. It's gonna be the odd number of teams is gonna be. Uh, the the schedule is just yeah I don't know how that's chaos work, to for honest. all involved I mean to shoot some bail to the organizers I mean that is just how do you schedule out an eleven an eleven team? team I mean that is just a nightmare There's no easy solution no. to that It's just gonna be chaos yeah. And then people I mean the the easy solution people are gonna think is an easy solution is just like round robin. Or, or wait, round robin is where you just play every round team. Round robin is like you play once, every team once. Yeah. But the amount of matches if you do that is like, But yeah, they don't have time. Like 100 broadcast yeah. days in a row. Yeah. Like it's just <laughs> impossible. You just cannot play that many games. That's what I think they're going to do. I think they're going to do. So they're obviously the first tournament for Masters um, Madrid is going to be like double the limb bracket, right? And then the one after that, dude, I think they're doing a round robin. Everyone plays everyone. I think it's going to be like a league format. I think it's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be two matches every week for teams. You know when they did that super week? Yeah. Yes. Me that, like every week. Yeah, I, I think it will feel like that for sure. Yeah. It's just a hell of a lot of games. The one, the one okay, cool thing in this article, though, uh, or the interview was... Um, just them putting a focus less so on Korea because obviously they're hosting the Pacific side of the of the of the whole VCT circuit for them, like in Korea itself. And they're like just they're like obviously it's a it's a much wider market than just Korea itself. And it's it's growing in popularity, like Valorant as a game, but um I mean it's massive in Southeast Asia, it's massive in other areas of Asia as well. And so I would like to see them branch out. I don't think they really specify too much, but 
and, and I think as well that the article might have got translated through like Google Translate and just posted again. So it might have, it, it probably missed like a lot of key details of this. But from from my perspective, that probably means that the the you know, looking at maybe just like one of the tournaments to qualify for something being hosted in a different place. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, and, and that's good, you know, Valorant's massive in Asia. They're, they're not really, haven't really been capitalizing. It's, it's felt quite isolated, I felt, like just being based in Korea all the time um, with the exception of like Ascension tournaments. So, yeah. yeah, that is positive. Speaking of Korea, T1 have made a shocking move this past week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it is quite... It is, I mean, someone give me the answers that I'm seeking. T1 have picked up Rossi of various North American teams, fame, TSM, FaZe, yeah. etc. This just seemingly coming out of nowhere as the rest of the T1 squad are all... Uh, Korean players. That being said, last year I was, as far as I know, they were coming in English like 95% of the time. Who's um, still on the team on T1? It is they Zeta, Saya player, oh, he's got it. Izu, and King as of right now. Um, yeah. Or wait, no. Sorry. I forgot. It's, oh man, who is starting? Is it, it's yeah, extra, you're, you're right. Am I well, they don't, they don't, they don't actually, something? right now, I don't think people know who's actually starting. Right? I don't think people I think they say, said who might did be. Did they say? Oh, no. Autumn said. No, that's right. Autumn said that it's, uh, they're starting with, um, who was it? I literally just saw it. Uh, they're going to have Rossi and also, Ro Rossi will be starting and so will, uh, like he literally said it. Here, let me find the tweet. It's in here. Here it is. Excurate and Rossi are both in the starting lineup. <laughs> I oh, know okay. that much, for sure. Okay. Yeah, Watch I mean, you are, you are right, though. Like a lot of those players speak English. We stumbled into them at Tokyo, like yeah. on, a, on a, like just out in a random bar. we like, we stumbled into the T1 players and yeah. it, like, we were just chatted up. I didn't realize how good, um, like just Saya's English was in general as well, even though yeah. I knew him from the Overwatch days as well, the Overwatch league, but like him, Zeta and I mean, Carpe, their English is fantastic. Like yeah, they I mean, can absolutely a play in common. Bunch of players who played in North America yeah. and then they had ban over there as well. So yeah. just, uh, made sense but i need someone to make sense of this they have 14 duelists on this roster and they've brought rossi over from america where are the answers someone please i mean he, he can he can play a lot right he, he's in his history let's think he's played smokes he's played initiator to a pretty high level i think yeah. it makes sense that um it makes sense that some of the Pacific teams are looking over towards like na specifically in terms of not many teams and obviously like a lot of talent um dude if you just look at his stats though like it makes a lot of sense like his his stats are actually pretty pretty legit to be honest and he's always, at least when i've watched him he's always been very solid so i guess there was like a, a good betting process in terms of like trial and trials and stuff like that um i know that they were interested in a few players over towards europe and stuff like that so i guess they just fill a role in terms of what they were looking for i, I guess they just um yeah we we're just set on no one in our kind of region is good enough for this and we need to look abroad. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of open-minded for it. Again, I think he's a good player. I think he, he's shown already that he's very versatile. So when we're kind of looking at the team and maybe we're not entirely sure of uh, roles, I think it, it kind of makes sense. So, I mean, they yeah, saw I'm, what Leviathan I'm did with Tex, you know? They saw Superdome and they're like, you know what? We got to get in on this. We got to <laughs> get some in. Hey, got to some North America people. And I guess technically Leviathan already is. Technically, like they're Latin, but they're North America, sort of. In the the, same the, way. The, I mean, Americas is, is the term. Close yeah. enough. We know where you're taking it. <laughs> well, it said North America, but are they in... I can't remember where they're based out of. They're based out of South America or North America. I don't remember, you know? The Americas it's, is just one whole America's region. team, yeah. Yeah, but which, but which Americas? North or South? Like, you know, like, I, that's the point, you know, importing North American players. Also, wasn't the, I think I read a comment on, like... They're like, the, oh, Kurt put it in the dock, and I went and read it. <laughs> or they're like, they literally have a player that can play every agent now. They have players that can play, that have played every single agent, essentially, competitively, because it's like Zeta. It's like, it's like Zeta, Sova, KO, Saya, Jet, Neon, Rossi, Viper, Breach, Carpe, Sky, Gecko, Brim. You know, it's just like literally every single player play, has played like a different agent. So no matter what, they have someone covered now. With yeah. this, you know, they, they can do anything they want now. I, I won't be so. a hater just yet, but. 
I will be a hater if they're going to do some six, seven man sub moving players around by maps. Maybe. I will hate. Yeah. I'm ready to hate if that's going to happen. Will <laughs> I, I will wake up early to hate <laughs> if, that, if that is occurring. I, I think the biggest problem that was kind of grief in T1 was just their caller. They were the calling, the IGLing. It was like, I heard so much shit. Like the entire year was just, I never really had a concrete grip of who was actually calling in that team until, I don't know god knows but they, they had one tournament i think one showing that was like it was looking pretty good and which was tokyo i thought that the, you know they seem to have a bit more of a, a good idea of what they wanted out of it but yeah until that problem gets solved you're not gonna get the best out of the players you're just not like teams live and die a lot of the times by just the igling you can have all the talent in the world and it'll carry you a certain carry you a certain distance but if you if you have the wrong macro ideas, if you have the wrong setups, if you have gaps in your play, you're, you're going to lose matches in it, in especially in a league format, a season league format. Like you are just going to get exploited hard. You need to be, you need to be having good calling behind you. I think with most teams, that's where, that's where the rosters are going to live and die. Yeah, Sluggy, do you have some information as to Izu and Excurit? Because I don't have, I, I haven't watched these guys. I'm hearing some hype. Can, can, do you so, have any can you expand? Yeah, so the, there's definitely hype around. I mean, there's hype around both of them. Xcred is just like, we have no idea. Unless he's been streaming and I've missed out on his streams, I've never seen this dude play Valorant, but I know him from CS <laughs> and then the guy that was like unreal at CS. So that's pretty cool. Um, but in terms of his Valorant skill, I guess it's just like hype from CS moving over. In terms of Izu, this guy's looked unbelievable every little, like they've just been playing like show matches, little events, um, but he's been looking ridiculous. Um, so I'm excited about this guy. I think he's very, very strong. He looks smart. His util is good, and he just wins every single duel. Like honestly, he's he's really good. This guy. I'm, I'm kind of sold on him already. Um, so yeah, I guess the big question mark more for me is just like Excuret in terms of. I don't even know how long he's played the game. To be honest with you, I, I was kind of surprised that um, he was moving over. Like I guess I heard that like after champs. So yeah, yeah. I guess I guess it's to see if like he's ready or not. But in terms of uh. In terms of Izu, yeah, I know for sure that he's um legit. Like he's he seems really really good. Like a strong strong pickup. So yeah, I can understand why people are hyped. I think this honestly this roster is good. Um, but yeah, we kind of need to see what they're doing with the sixth man. But also the sixth man might work if we get like a patch that mixes everything up, and then maybe it's just like well. That that patch made this guy irrelevant, or at least the plan we were ready for this for this one because we've seen that before. Like when Chamber goes out, and then it, and then a player just becomes like completely wrecked and then they don't yeah, have a backup plan yeah so it might not be the worst plan for a little bit but uh i'm not a fan of six man Rostin, no i've like never seen it friend. work in violent it just that doesn't work yeah no it doesn't work but, in esports in general so far there's yet to be a single good case for large rosters in esports across the board it's always been disastrous it's always turned into some fucking crazy like royal lineage <laughs> we're all killing our brothers and sisters and shit <laughs> to try to get the throne like it's never worked <laughs> Did that not work at all in Overwatch? I feel like it did work nope. in Overwatch. No, it did not. It did not. <laughs> it, there was like, like it did it not too. work. There, it, there was like a, not. A, I can't think of like there was maybe one instance ever where it was like kind of good with the legendary genius Wizard Young, but like, like no. pretty much like mm. there was no. There's really very few rosters that's ever worked out for ever. Like it pretty much always solidifies and just like you have a core and you play with the core because like it's so hard to get consistent practice when you're rotating players and you're trying to build synergy. Yeah. you know. It's a practice so problem hard. and then an interpersonal problem because <laughs> most, <laughs> like you, you think about most teams, like most teams being coached that are just five rotating sometimes just explode from interpersonal problems. And when you try and add more players into the mix and uh, the clicks start developing and I've, I've seen monitors get broken. Shout out to DRX. I've seen <laughs> monitors, not with DRX, but yeah. <laughs> Shout out to DRX with a big rosters. But in Overwatch, I've literally seen like just... I've been a fly on the wall watching practice and just seen the rosters explode before my very eyes. So yeah. it's it's hard. And and fucking esports coaches aren't kitted out to solve interpersonal problems most of the time. Like they just they play the game a lot, they know the game a lot. Like the they're not they're not therapists. They're not fucking Your average esports coach is a twenty four year old man that has been in their like a room playing the game of choice for the past three years. Yeah, how do you, you know how do you settle the differences between a bunch of gamers who've only just been playing games for 12 hours a day and like just the, the the emotional development isn't there it's fucking hard you know you can't do it with a lot of players 
barely do it with five. I guess technically EG sort of did it this year, <laughs> last year, because they had their practice squad. Yeah, but they did like, actually, yeah. But like, but and they said that was integral to their process. But like, obviously, we don't actually know. Like, is that true? Is I mean, that... people have spoken about how like important it was for them being able to just get the internal practice and run setups without people trolling in scrims. Like, it was it was pretty integral for them improving quickly. So I mean, but we don't have like example. a contest control group, you know, of like, <laughs> could they have just done the same thing of like without like yeah, if they were like if they had had a second if let's say they had prestiged the roster. Sorry, I'm gonna get stopped. Let's say they had had a second roster, and they had this, they cloned them and they just played in the same scenario without the test roster, without the you know the the practice roster. Yeah. Like, would that would have had the similar results? Who knows, right? Like it's kind of like it could just be you know we don't have anything else to. No one else in Valorant has had the the fucking NFL size roster yet to compare it to. <laughs> we um in uh in Liquid we tried something similar. So I don't know how they managed to make it work, but honestly, I will tell you that we um we would get Cupert, who is in like a, a kind of tier two team, and we would just ask him, who's like very good friends of us, if if we wanted like set practice against like for example like a Sage on Ascent or something like that, something that's a bit like off meta that you don't play against. A lot of the time we would ask him to go look at it and he would like do like an hour of server time and just tell his team like this is how we're going to play and then we got good practice against that mm. so it does actually does actually help a lot and like Cupid was pretty good to just like replicating how a team will play with just by like looking into a demo so i think it has a lot of weight i'm not sure if they used it in a similar style to that but in terms of saving your strats and just having um literally just having like uh practice against exactly how a team will play i do think it's a it's a great thing on paper uh, whether you can afford it and it's, yeah is another question so but uh, i mean it worked out if uh if it went down like that yeah that is going to be yeah affording things that's going to be tough <laughs> that is going to that's yeah. going to be real tough <laughs> yeah. this year i mean we already saw last year teams when they were budgeting and cutting the trimming staff away not investing in yeah you know sports team psychologists things like that and yeah. the impact that it was having on certain teams um being a, a serious problem one team with a, a coaching staff that is interesting and one of the things i'd like to address is with leviathan winners of the super dome wish i could get some super dome <laughs> 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 Who named this tournament, huh? That's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. But also, I'm trying to get to the bottom of Leviathan, okay? Yeah. I have thoughts. I have opinions. And I want to hear all of yours, okay? But, but uh, I also want to... Okay, there's, there's a lot of things I want to talk about okay, Leviathan okay. here. Okay. I, I have a lot of things I want to get to, honestly. But... <laughs> Let's let's start with <laughs> their performance. They take down the tournament. They don't drop a map. Thoughts on the team's level right now, dude? I I think that they look pretty good, actually. Pretty fleshed out on a lot of maps when I was watching. I think their Haven is fantastic with the amount of time they put into that. They are they're always like with Tex moving over to a Sentinel role. There's always going to be you're, you're like thinking, okay, well always chance for stuff like that to go wrong uh, but they are on top of it they were constantly maneuvering their setups like around aspas opping and texas setups with his like he had a turret in short he had a like the usual setups towards like mid and it was pretty good furia really really took it to him though i think they the the big the big hitter being like mw i think was just hitting well, i'm about to 2020 me is about to come out my uh, dude my, my actual <laughs> goat mw is he is back. back. Yeah. He was uh, on Haven. He was diffing yeah. Ospos boss with the op. There was he a round where he just a, a sheriff v op tapped him, and then the next round beat him in an op duel. My goat. He didn't even used to like his op was never as strong as his rifle either when he was playing duels yeah. before. Now his op was looking sick. But sorry, I, listen. Yeah, I needed to pop. No, up. They, they, my goat is back. Yeah, his, his attack side <laughs> op was really good. I, I think for as good as Lev looked, they they really did get pressured pretty hard because the the. The mechanical talent from Furia is not in doubt, honestly. I was mad impressed with their, their new Smokes player. What is it? Lee Liazzi, I think? Liazzi, yeah. Liazzi? Yeah, dude. I know why all these teams were trying to get Havoc in the offseason. Yeah. I, God damn. Dude, they have got talent for days. Was crazy good. The, the only <clears> thing that was like, really um, missing was the um, just the overall... Like, I, just didn't, I, I don't think they had the experience or prep time on a lot of these maps compared to left. You, I could just see that, but... <clears throat> 
Yeah, I felt like a lot of it was just like individual kind of like cheesy stuff in terms of like bigger macro stuff, but they, they did it well. It's like what you're saying with um, MW0, a lot of the time it was like Havoc setting him up. And because Havoc used to play Duelist, right? I wonder if he has like a good understanding of like flashing off angles and like how to actually get the most out of the Duelist as well. So I was impressed with Havoc on the Sky. I thought his flashes were like top tier when I was watching them. So I'm kind of excited if they decide to continue with these roles of MW0 um, in terms of Furia. I thought they would look good. In terms of Lev, I don't know how they're this drilled with this much time, to be honest. They look very drilled. They actually look pretty pretty set in terms of the team. I felt like King, is, Dude, King's King. calling and King's oh mid-rounding is oh crazy. My. Like, even if we're not talking about frags, like, how he's just controlling. Like, I'm a minimap watcher. I'm watching the minimap thinking, oh, this guy is a <laughs> god at the moment. Like, everything's just incredible. Like, they're playing, like, 4-1 against the sky. They know the flash is coming in. Flash hits one in terms of just the sky, so they don't know, like, pure, perfect information. Like, everything's so good. And I'm like, damn, this team is... It, it looks scary. It looks scary for, uh, for next year. Yeah. It looks so damn good. Uh, and... But yeah, mad impressive Fury as well because of the stuff that we've already talked about. Um, Cloud9, I'm willing to shoot them a bit of bail. Um, just I mean, mainly they just because... came from Red Bull home ground, right? Yeah, they, they they've been going on the it, fucking yeah. to world tour around the world in 80 days, but not a hot air balloon, so they're all just jet-lagged to shit. But <laughs> they they have just been like ruined by that. And I mean, I, I when I went from Sao Paulo to Korea, like early last year, it ruined me in terms of the travel time and, and, and just the, the complete lip in terms of the time zone um i can't imagine how they played this so, because it, it, it felt like i don't know uh, the, I, I don't think they were playing as well in terms of just off of each other the the coordination in that regard um but one of the things that lev and fuhrer were doing against them pretty well was actually just punishing the overextension that cloud nine likes to do like it, the previous episode i was talking about cloud nine that they're, they're kind of like overall style is they they like to take a lot of map control like taking the front of a site and then they they very quickly try and take like another area like either like elbow or pushing out something else to try and catch teams when they're setting up for the retake and it works really well if you're not ready for it but levin fury were ready for it in in the matches that i watched when i was when i was just watching the upper final and lower final they were always just quite patient with it and they've got the mechanical skill to just punch back as well they're not going to get they're not going to get strong armed out of those positions and it was it was kind of it was kind of ruining cloud nine a little bit because then when it, when it doesn't work in that way when the team's ready for it and expecting it, it you're you're fighting in a really bad position you're just never going to be favored fighting in, in those spots when they when they're just absorbing all that aggression and so there was a few instances of that um but overall i'm just i'm kind of just Big grain of salt, I think, added to, to Cloudline's overall performance in the tournament. So, uh, further on Lev, though, I do want to talk about uh, Ospos and Tex. Like, Sliggy, how are you feeling about their debut in this roster? The synergy, synergy excuse me, with the team, but also how they were doing individually. I, I felt like individually they were, they were very good. It, it felt like... Um... Uh, Tex was responsible for a lot of big rounds to win, but he was responsible for a lot of like little mistakes that cost them rounds as well. So I feel like in terms of like the learning curve for him, probably the highest. Um, but I think that's expected as well. And Aspas, um, yeah, I mean Aspas just looks good. It, he looks, he looks happy. He looks comfortable. It looks like he has a lot of freedom over towards here as well. So um, <laughs> it sounds yeah, like so you're describing a. A, like a, a horse he's happy he's got so he's much happy. freedom uh, he's, he's, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's, he's just running around he's free it's nice he just calls where he wants to go um, yeah dude, i do I'm, I'm excited i, I feel like uh i feel like the the whole setup of just giving him pure freedom which i imagine is what he wants uh looks like it's there and even though sometimes like you're saying mw0 is getting the better of him I feel like the team actually did well of just actually bringing back these rounds. <clears throat> and in terms of like the mistakes that Tex was making, it's just just small micro things that maybe uh, is like positioning thing of, of just like being uh, a newer sentinel and stuff like that. When Double Duelist came in in some of the maps, that's when it started to like really look good. So maybe if they get a bit of a, uh, like I said, maybe there's a patch that changes some of the meta, I think like they're going to be one of the teams that maybe thrives as well. So yeah, I, I was impressed. Um, just overall, just impressed with the whole team. Uh, this, yeah, it's just very, very scary. I like to see them more against like, because like obviously C9 was traveling and they were playing with Whippy, who at this point has, I, I know it just feels like this to me. I feel like Whippy is like the 12th century man of arms for hire because I feel like I've seen him like in so many different like, 
teams, which he really hasn't been when you look at his like roster history. But I feel like Bro is out there traveling around on a donkey, and he's like any feudal lord that will hire him. He's like, I will, I will do it. You know, like I will fight for you. But overall, like, because also, so, and then also, crew, crew didn't play with like crew didn't play with Keslet uh, either. Yeah, I mean, oh, so, with I, even, I mean, we don't have to stay on crew for too long, but that was just, yeah, I, mean, I, I know. But the point being is like, yeah. I just want you know, I think Leviathan look obviously yeah. really good in Asbest and Tex and then like I, the swap. I think Slicky covered it pretty well. It's just I think you know it's early in the season against and half of their competition was kind of like hobbled sort of. So all right, so we're not gonna. 100 Thieves 2022 Red Bull home ground Leviathan. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It looks promising. <laughs> well, it looks super promising. Uh -huh. Like, it looks really good. Like, the, the, the maps that they clearly... I mean, you can tell they put a ton of time into Haven. There were other maps that weren't as... Um, just fleshed out. Like, when I was watching the Lotus and Split game in the finals, you could tell that their setups weren't quite, you know, there as much to the same degree. But it was still... Like, Split felt like, to me, the in, like a big individual moment from a lot of players, like King and, and, and Aspas was carrying them, like, a lot of the time. Um, and Lotus, genuinely, like, Furia could have won Lotus. Like, that, that series, like, I think Furia could have won Haven in a, in, a, in a different circumstance, and they also could have won Lotus. They just kind of, again, crumbled on their defense. I think that's where it's lacking a lot of the times, which is where Furia just need to get the prep together and, and really figure out their defensive setup so they don't leave as many gaps in, in their play. And they have better ideas. Because um, it was it was night and day when you were comparing the two teams regarding that. But in terms of the talent, in terms of them being able to like fight back, they were they were they were on point with it. Furia really had a chance to uh, to win here, but yeah, uh, or at least on this map, he could have made it much closer. But I, I think this is quite promising. I mean, like last episode or two episodes, I can't remember. We were very Duma, or at least Josh was. Josh was. Josh was Duma. Josh said Americas might be the worst region. Yeah, oh, over America. <laughs> I'm tired of and that guy. I, I just like. Yeah. I just don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, you, you see, I, I'm watching this tournament and I think there's so much hope, honestly, as well, just from, from both the North American teams, like just having the NA teams, like well, we'll see what happens with, with NRG if they manage to, you know, get the, the favored players that they want. Like, we'll, we'll find out if EG keep them in contract jail or what, I don't know. But, um, but definitely for Sentinels, I think there's a lot of hope for Sentinels and, and especially these teams, like the Latin teams, Brazilian teams. I think you can still expect big things. I don't think America is that weak at all. No, yeah, I, I, I may have be. Listen, it might be the MW pill, but I, I, <laughs> I'm so excited to watch more of this Furia team and see how they progress. I mean, it's yeah. just him and uh, just the uh, what you had said, Slow, you just about Havoc previously being a duelist. You could just see that in the. You could just see the duelist within him in <laughs> the gameplay. He's like a sky that is unafraid to create his own opportunities when he sees fit. And was getting away with so many crucial kills to like open up a site. Sometimes it was getting ahead of MW, cracking open the site, finding an entry off a flash, or just capitalizing off some player that was running away, catching them out. Like was was just mad, mad impressed. So mm -hmm. this is this has yeah. instilled some hope for me in America. <laughs> um, we're gonna take it back to Korea. Uh, Genji, they have signed Munchkin right now. They have four players. Confirmed. Did we talk about ban? Uh, no, no, we haven't talked wait, about last ban, week. I don't think what it's ban. Didn't they? Did they admit? Did they admit? Did they? Did they admit? Did they? Didn't? Did they announce it, or was it just rumored? Uh, is that like a spreadsheet rumor? Because right I think now it's the still rumored. I think it's rumored still. Okay, because the confirmed is uh, Lackia, Meteor, Texture, and. Munchkin. Right. Um, Did I dream ban going to Genji? Yeah, well, it's, ru rumor. it's just rumored. It's Source, rumored because Val is also like just... Governor is like baiting for it on Twitter too. Governor is like baiting like bans like because ban put like a signing contract gift and he's like, you are a Jin with a capital G generational talent. You know, like they're just bait. It's all just baiting. Like who knows? No one actually knows yet. Like it right. hasn't been confirmed or anything. Uh, all right. Hype status on this roster so far. Where are we sitting? Yeah, he just tweeted. Gen <laughs> I think this was it. I don't. Gen G. <laughs> tweeted Genji. Yeah, Gen I mean. G. <laughs> well, then if you click on, click on the signing, click on the signing, the the, and then go to Governor's 
governor's response find governor's response yeah let me look at the responses like it's all just like shit like you know people are just fucking they're just baiting so it, <laughs> i don't I mean, know what to believe it's just, it's just rumored well it's not official so we're gonna go off the no. four that they okay, have okay okay so far I, pipe level check-in where are we sitting mid, they got mid they got what texture meteor lackia munchkin lackia I mean, they traded like, I mean, like, I think, you know, it's hard because they lost. First of all, the Kim dynasty is gone. So RIP Kim, like the kid, like there's no more, like they don't have full Kim squad anymore. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, but also like, I think trading King for Munchkin here is like, because I like Munchkin on T1, honestly, last year. I just feel like, you know, King is one of the best, you know, central players, one of the better players coming out of Korea in general. And like, I don't know if Munchkin's really going to like replace that hole for Jinji at all you know and that's not yeah. even including the rest of the roster right like that's just like a it's just to me i'm not like super excited viewing this from like if i do the eye test here if this was a if this is a market stall i'm walking through some sort of farmer's market i'm walking past <laughs> my ass is not stopping i'm not looking at the produce no chance no chance bell peppers not not for me i'm getting out of there <laughs> i just yeah i don't i think this team is already having gonna have issues with their roles i mean i know texture played a multitude of different stuff when he was playing on on GE, but I think texture not on Jet is a bit of a waste because his he's a much more intelligent duelist player, I think, than Meteor. Meteor is don't get me wrong, skilled, but he he gets punished a lot. Like he has that that the the symptom of a lot of like top jet players where they they don't know their own limits. Um, at least at like the top level where teams will punish them. Um, but I've I've always rated texture higher than Meteor in that regard. And if they do that, then what will Meteor play? Am I misremembering? Did he change his roles up? Or does he actually have of a playtime and other stuff. I, I don't think so. I think they're already running into issues just early on with this roster, but I, again, Munchkin doesn't really, doesn't shift things for me. I'm, I'm with you in the farmer's market of ass. Let's look at the eggs instead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it, might be, it might be one of those things where it tastes a little bit better though, because I think this is like an underrated roster. I think they're not too bad, honestly. I, I think Munchkin's pretty, pretty good, to be honest, in terms of like fragging. He, like he frags out, he does his role well. Um, was it, he was you know in T one was it was between him and Zeta in terms of who was calling right is this is this where the kind of I think I think it was Zeta disconnect that was came doing no like it, it the shifted around a lot it, it shifted between them both right when I when it was Munchkin I was not impressed with the calling at all that's yeah I'm kind of on board with that one as well I think so, that was like um, early on where it just looked like they they had massive holes in a lot of their setups like consistently and then when they moved the, the, i think zeta ended up calling for them later on in the year and it started to look a bit better but yeah if munchkin is going to be the primary caller for them i do i i worry but but there's it, there's a gulf in terms of just the amount of talent available if you're looking for somebody to be calling especially if you're if you're committing to now being like a full korean roster like you you this is part of the reason why t1 going for just like an english-speaking roster like coming in english is is pretty smart because they actually have a lot more opportunities open to them but um yeah genji it's the, the same argument for t1 for me where they just i think this team lives and dies by the calling and i i wasn't impressed with munchkin's calling when it was like rumored that he was the one who was igling so yeah will you guys be taking the lackey pill this, i mean this is like <laughs> such a i mean there is some contingent of of like at this point just a, a, a microcosm of fans that are like finally <laughs> Finally, the return mm -hmm. of Lackey. I've been waiting since New Turn for him to be on a top team again. But it, it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just been ages since we've seen him at the top tier. To the extent that, like, even though there was, in like our brains, there were like those iconic plays from Reykjavik yeah, 1, from the, the first, first international tournament, the amount of new fans who just have no idea who this guy is just not a clue i i just don't i i i'm just I up mean, in the air I'm just a, okay we'll see what happens i've watched his tier two uh, games so i don't i don't yeah. know like he's been competing which is good it's not like they've picked him up and he's just like had a long holiday um just like just not playing the game but yeah i i i, I haven't watched his tier two game so i don't know but doesn't again it doesn't really shift it for me yeah. I'm no. not. I'm not nostalgia pilled. Honestly, I mean, I've had enough. I've Dude, seen this enough reboots. An you know, <laughs> this is. I mean, new yeah, turn is, versus fanatic. Holy, I do. I remember clogging out of my gore <laughs> watching this shit. 
<laughs> back in <laughs> like that so long ago. <laughs> yeah, the shroud ghost <laughs> room. Uh, uh, I mean, this is. I, I just don't think. I, I mean, I think it's. You can't rule out like him, obviously, because he. But like at the same time, like. I don't think you should go in here with great expectations simply because like i mean he literally hasn't competed at like a like on a top team at a top level not that it, like on an individual performance but just team wise like we haven't seen him play for what like yeah three two three years you know like that shit's like that's like a decade like it's like a decade <laughs> in normal people time yeah yeah it's All it's right. a wait and see kind of team isn't it yeah. it's one of those teams where you don't you don't want to say that they're not gonna be great because maybe somehow they put it together but i guess on paper it just doesn't look Super scary if it's like recency bias. Yeah, for sure. All right. It's time to get into the serious meat of this episode. <laughs> the weight. What? It's the it weight. makes me. It's the serious I'm talking, like, you I'm talking, you know. You're on, a, you're on an arc. You the know, fellas are to dinner. We're getting some juicy steaks. It's like and steaks and maybe a, steak. maybe a stew, a place that does a stew, the meat and potatoes of the episode, the whole yeah. point of it. This no. is this is the whole point. Classic this is why the tune steak in. and stew dinner. Like, that's <laughs> a classic dinner. <laughs> All right. We did this last year. We're doing it again. <laughs> it's the way too early tier list. Mm -hmm. We're going to, I mean, <sighs> listen. It is definitely way too early. <laughs> um, this is going to be for uh, America's Europe and APAC. Um, you know, perhaps when we have more details with uh, China, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later, but uh, not enough details, not enough inherent knowledge right now to like respectably place all these teams. And we're going to put um, a lot of respect in this tier list. We, yeah, it's Bro, gonna I, I'm gonna be completely honest. Do. Uh -huh. I don't know how. Like, maybe if I'm being generous, like I know two thirds of the rosters. If that on this list, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. so you know, I mean, I, this yeah. is gonna be fucked. Yeah, I was. It's it's tough to remember every single one. I was gonna try and pull up the uh, one of Flynn's spreadsheets. I need that is that for for reference, yeah, that, that just because we are looking at. 30 teams <laughs> or 33 teams so that's a lot of uh players to, repeating to... of course so we can look yeah. at the spreadsheet for reference but we can start i'll i'll, I'll chime in and do an easy one fanatics at s and then you yeah yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah we can start sure. with the easy I mean, yeah, okay. yeah i can yeah i can agree with that fair enough that easy, that yeah. is the easiest one will any other yeah. teams be in the s tier off i mean we have to surely like i mean since lev? <laughs> do we are, are lev <laughs> looking s tier I think they've got the potential there. I, in, in theory, with the, it's just because they didn't go up against as many teams. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I mean, they still have a role swap text that looks like like we talked like we talked about. He could be he looks good and sometimes a little shady. He's still learning the role, right? And he hasn't been like you know pressured super heavily yet, like in that role yet yeah. in the role swap. So like I don't know. What are, what are, what are our thoughts about Navi though? About Navi. I think well. That's true. What was that slogan? I'll put, the, I'll, I'll put them in S. I, I would be, I would be down yeah. for them in S. They're proven. Uh, I don't think that things clicked with CNET. I know the artist is just going to tell. Yeah, he's... <laughs> as soon as Angel starts blapping that he wants to play like Yoru and stuff like this, <laughs> artist is going to tell him just to shut up, man. So I think this is kind of fine. <laughs> like when they, when they tell artists to play Killjoys, it's going to tell him to fuck off. And he's just going to <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I, I think... Um, Big expectations. I mean, they they won a big event. It's the yeah. same. It's the same lineup. It's it's kind of proven. Um, artists definitely. No, I, it didn't work. Like I agree, I agree with that. If, if we're measuring like the, the potential of these teams, right? Yeah. I I would agree with that. I think Navi have the potential to be an S tier team. Uh, I, that's, I, that's what we got to go on, right? It's yeah. potential. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's no. This is the two no. ruler tier list. We it's it's not based off necessarily data. Okay. okay, sometimes you put your ear to the ground and you feel the vibes of the universe. Oh. Okay. I mean, the, oh. the data that I do have, though, without just trying to become one with the earth, yeah. is that the Navi were trolling last year. And that was, yeah. it was driving me crazy. Right. And But they, I, you, it, they still have the makings of a good team. Like the yeah. pieces that were there. I, I remember I was like the sole defender of Navi at, in a lot of these episodes because... Overall, like the calling is still good, like their overall ideas. I just think their comps and overall ideas that they were like committing to are really bad. And now that they've got artists back in, you know that there's chemistry, you know it's a, you know it's a team that works. I agree with Sliggy. I, I think the potential of this team is in the S tier. The, this isn't a guarantee. 
Like this, it's a it's a way too early tier list, but so, I think the potential. Okay, so there. we're just convinced that artists is going to save this team from silly land and drag them back to reality. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he doesn't he yeah. doesn't delve delve into that kind of stuff. He he just he'll okay. actually be able to have a voice here. He's he's not playing like with this team here. I think he won't mind about voicing his opinion. Maybe on NRG he was getting such a big bag that he was like, man, I'm just gonna stay silent. I'll play Killjoy <laughs> if I'm getting paid this much. Why not? Like I'll do, I'll do anything. Like I'll, I'll play Deadlock or something. Like he's in for everything. But I yeah. think like on this team here, he's gonna have a voice. He'll probably want to win. He's had a lot of um. Not winning for like a for like a year, so yeah. I think this is I think this is good for him. And, and honestly, if we look at Navi from last year, dude, I'm telling you, they didn't want Cena to succeed. Uh, like you, <laughs> uh, so, something in between was just wrong here. There was something going on internally. I'm going to start the conspiracy. I started before. I'm continue with it. Something looked wrong. Like I'm, you get Cena an op. Everyone's running, just trying to die before Cena has an opportunity to do anything. So something was wrong here. There was something internally. Uh, it has to be. Uh, that's what it looked like from the outside. It just it everything just wasn't right. It, mm. it was bad. Comps and CNED couldn't do anything. So, right. um, I'll, but yeah, oh, this is the savior. Navi I'll back. do. Yeah, we can go in order. That that makes sense. All right, crew. Uh, crew. I, I don't feel care like about. Crew. I don't care about the dome. The dome is out of my no, mind. Yeah, forget the dome. <laughs> I, no more. No more. I always do. All I I'm always thinking do. About, I'm thinking about. Uh, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, LCQ champions. Sure. The regular season. How much are we weighing that up? Uh, I, I, I genuinely, know. this team could oscillate between the lowest tier to B. I would say, and they could oscillate wildly just because of the the Kesnet factor. Yeah, I. Yeah. Shy in the roster too. I was impressed with Shy at the end of. The, 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 the I also think some of the shakeups in like other the some of the other teams in Americas. I think like. Um. Some of the shakeups, like, dude, I'm getting blasted. Silence. I'm getting blasted on my phone. Sorry. The, um, <laughs> the, 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 that's me. Sorry. I'm casting my silencing spell. That's yeah, my me when I'm a spell wizard in the, in the sixth century. Um, <laughs> I, I think, like, also some of the changes up in just, like, the region in general with America is, like, even if relative strength, like, crew has the potential to punch up a bit just because of the shakeups in rosters in general, you know? Um, like, I like the addition. Uh, I like, or not so much the addition, but like, I guess pretty much I'm coping and saying they're probably, I think they're going to be B. I'm just going to put it up a B. I agree with Brent's sake because I feel like the I'm B's? just kind of coping with a B. I think I, maybe a B. I feel like a B tier could work, is, is good for me. Maybe a C. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I I'm think sticking C. on B. I'm sticking on B. I, I think, think C. C. I'm going with C. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a. Okay, fair enough. C Fine. I'll, 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 I, I'll think they could oscillate, the though. I think they, they like, much like. I don't know, like the electrons in an atom. I don't know where C, I'm going C will be. I think C is just going to end they up do, being their average. I agree. I think yeah. they could just totally they could... troll some games and lose to teams that would be ranked below them and then also mm -hmm. be in the B category sometimes, but I think average out in C. That's what I'm rolling with. All right. Yeah, oh. that's fair. Lev. I think Easy A at S. least. S. I, I mean, think, the I'm saying ECA may be an S. I, I think I'm leaning towards S with what I saw. Dude, I'm telling you, if King can call like this and they have game plans like this and everyone's firing on the same cylinders, I know it's very early, but the potential of the S is definitely there. I feel like what I saw, they can win tournaments. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm down for it. Also, like, Tex is going to be so fired up, man. Getting kicked from a team is just, it's just the fuel. It really is the fuel. And you just want to prove everyone wrong, especially the players that kicked you. Like it's a strong, it's a strong beast. So I'm in for it. I'm a believer. I've got two things with Lev here that I want to throw out there and get your opinions on, which are, in my mind, the two keys to them being an S tier team from here. Um, in, in addition to everything you just said, Sluggy. But I'm, I'm looking individually. I'm looking at Mazzino's level because I think he's given high expectations to the audience with how yeah. good he's been at times, but did not live up to the expectations that he set for himself last year, especially towards the end of that season. I was struggling watching some of his gameplay. It just looked like he was on a totally different... He, he was on, you know, Ventrilo and the rest of the team was <laughs> calming and mumble. <laughs> and it was just like... There, yeah. and he was just jumping around, getting caught out, just making really silly mistakes. I'm looking at him... And I am looking at, they, they have, obviously they have a different coaching staff. So much of the onus of their lack of 
anti-striding, but also just their lack of developing their own playbook was just shoved onto owner. And I want to see how much of that is actually going to be true. Are they going to be able to, with a new coaching staff, with a new roster, are they going to be proactive in counter-striding and developing their own playbook? I think even, even more so than that. Those are two <laughs> keys for me. Those are two <laughs> keys for me. For the audio listeners, Connor is just, I don't know what he, Connor's uh, stuck under the cat, desk. My uh, cat was eating a receipt. So oh, I was, I'm oh, stopping oh, her. I'm stopping her from eating the receipt because, you know, that, you know, we need it for tax purposes. Uh, okay. Nice. Are you guys, um, Sliggy, yeah, are, you, I, I, are you rolling with what I've thrown out here? I, I, I can I can chime in on that a little bit. So the the one thing there, there was two things that worried me last year from this team. Remember that the hour five minute fix. The hour hour was just like new strats and any strats, right? So they can get that down with a new guy. In theory, that was like what Honor was doing in terms of didn't want to anti strands focused on themselves. So that that's fine. I think that Honor was a big reason of that. What I also thought was Honor was like them not doing their like save you know of a round where it's like really early on like the sixth fifth round or something and they'll go and save and then they mess up the yeah. economy of the other team uh like they'll give them too much that was still there in this event so that worried me a little bit maybe that's more like king than where i, I thought it was honor but that again that's the easy fix so i kind of think um i think that this might work better and in terms of mizino as well um a bit of a a bit of a slump, but I felt like individually the whole team had a bit of a slump. So I felt like they were just overworked. So I feel like a, a coaching staff that understands that they they breaks at everything, and especially with, with a with a season that is going to be as crazy as next year. As long as as long as this guy's got his head screwed on and he realizes like these guys were overworked, they didn't live up to your, their potential. Then uh yeah, then I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of in for it. I think that why you touched on a lot of good points to be honest, because I think. The coaching was maybe a big bit that respo resp uh, was responsible for them them underperforming maybe last year. Not that they're bad coaches. I think it was just like a difference of um, difference of output and mind frame. Some I mean, some people are good with just like the constant work, but some people need a break. Yeah, I think it was an ideology problem from yeah, that's what I can gleam. But I I, I thought Mazina was locked in with this event when I was watching. Yeah, it was definitely I thought he better. Was, I thought he was looking lo locked in. There was. It, the team just looked a lot more loose. They had really good setups. The, I, I'm not as worried about that. Um, the, one, of the, one of the things I did th uh, notice was kind of how much the defensive setups really relied on Aspas opping a lot to try and lock down specific areas. And if you don't get an early economic advantage, like you lose a pistol round, that uh, I'm curious where that leaves Lev then. Like, would we be then looking on the other side of this tournament if some of that didn't go their way? Like, with very, very different expectations, but it wouldn't be... Uh, clearing out some of these maps, I, I think potentially. I mean, that's a real possibility. But for now, I, I still think there. I still think that the potential is there yeah. for them to just be S. Like I've got, they, them, I've got them S. Maybe bottom yeah. of S, just but uh, somewhere in S. All right. I'm, Loud. This is an easy A for me. I have an A. I have an A as well. I think the changes here, like to the roster, like losing Ospos. I mean, when, when you lose what was, you know, some people were like, you know, it's up there for the best duelist in the world at points. Like, that's just... It's hard to keep your dominance, you know? Hard to keep that dominance level when you're, when you're competing against other top tier rosters, I feel. Plus yeah. the coaching changes. The people, people, I think, are being a little bit too hard on QCK on Quick um, coming in here because it's big, it's big boots to fill, don't get me wrong, with Aspas gone. But I think this team will still be good. Like, I still, I agree with you. I think they'll be A tier. Like, I still think they're going to be, I still think this team will be good um, because the ideas that they had that they showed were really good. And sometimes, like, listen, it just takes change of environment for QCK. Maybe you can just bring out that little bit of extra, you know, and the rest of the team, we know the rest of the team is good with, with Loud. We know that they have great, good ideas on top of it. Yeah, they might have trolled an event or two, um, but who hasn't? Like, listen, who, who hasn't trolled an event or two? We've all been there. Listen, we've all, we've all trolled a little bit. So I, I like this team in A. Yeah, yeah. what Kurt is... Stunned in the production room, but I don't think this is that crazy at, at all. They've kept I, I, a huge I, amount of their core. They still have less Karmazine, two of the I, I really think two of the best players in the world. Like you have to put them in your <laughs> both in your top I mean, twenty. One of the one of the um, one of the better IGLs in the world too is Sodhawk. Like I mean, like what's like you know yeah. what's I don't I don't see what's done. what 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 do you think it's like, like B. No, no, I'm, I'm thinking, too? I'm thinking more the end. Of, like, I'm, I'm happy with A if they're like right at the top of A if we're doing like the ranking things here because oh, you want to put you want to yeah, I want to put them Kurt higher. Kurt is bro. stunned. <laughs> Kurt is they're, they're like, shocked. Really, dude? Like, look at the look at what they've achieved. It's 
huge. So I don't know. They I, don't have I their best think... player. I guess you could argue less could be more impactful, but come on. I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I think less is less is crazy. And so I don't know. I, I think I think putting them in in A is a bit of a a bit brutal. But I, I'll okay. settle for top of A. Yeah, that's, I that's I, I totally. I mean, they they lost Osbos, of course, massive detriment to the team, but they. It's the, the keeping of the core, the keeping of a fantastic IGL that's been proven at the absolute like pinnacle of gameplay at international events. They still have two easy top 20 shoe in players, less if not like constantly being rated in people's like top five players. Yep. I mean, really, it's like, you know, you're looking individually. What is Tui's going to do on the duelist? What is Quick going to bring to the roster? But there's still just so much good there they've constantly they're they've always been an s tier team since their inception they lose their best player go down to a i think that's just the perfect spot for them i i can't i think it's the perfect spot top of a tier i still see them being a playoff contender hard to imagine at least right now that they'll be like a world number one contender yeah. but like a playoff international team you never know i think that's i think that's certified all right let's keep it moving um <laughs> MIBR. What are the? What are they doing? Can can I get a reminder? What are they up yeah, to? Yeah, I was I was gonna uh, say someone give me a reminder of the. Yes, Artzine, Mazin, JZZ, RGL Meister, and FRZ. Oh Jesus! And they, okay, they, they picked they picked up fraud. So we got the, we got the old school old school coaching squad from from Lounge 20, 2022, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. You have fraud. Uh. Bazooka. So. Listen. Dude, does anyone know who came? Does anyone know who came up with the Harbor Viper? Was it was this fraud or was this uh, Sadak? No I don't clue. know. I don't know. I would love to know if they've spoken. Because maybe that, if listen. maybe if I knew that fraud came up with that, maybe I'm putting these guys a little bit higher. But oh. yeah, the... is this the first F tier team? No, I I see. I don't Bottom think. I think. I think for for proper F tier. The team just has to have not like not a clue. Like they just have to be <laughs> yeah. they have to be lost in the source, man. They have to be like This is not F, yeah. I I, yeah. I, I think I think right. for a team to it's, really truly deserve C. the F tier, like it has to be like, what the fuck are they doing? Like like what are they doing? Do they wanna win? Um so I think it, I think it's C. I think I think it's C, I think it's a low C, but it's listen, I, I'm quite high up on on I'm getting fraud in. Where, when that when that change was announced, I was quite high up on it. But um, and again, I'm I'm pretty ignorant of a lot of Brazilian team and uh, Brazilian Brazilian scene in, in terms of like tier two and everything else. But from what I know of the of the core that's stayed with MIBR, I'm like, I did not see good things. But I don't know. Like a, a change in coaching staff can do wonders sometimes. Um, I like I, I think low C. But I think they have to be bottom C. I think they're of all the Americas teams. Sadly, they're the one I'm least yeah. hyped about. I, I yeah, like I Jay Z. I think he's fantastic. But uh, it's yeah, it's t I think just bottom C, and we can uh, kind of. Oh, no. oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Not again. Chosen's no. not even on the team anymore. No. The one who made this happen, he's not even on the team. For the he's not even on the team. At home, we're just we're watching the knife moment, and it's just a tragedy. <laughs> it's just an appalling tragedy. <laughs> they can't be up here after doing that, even if they don't have <laughs> that player anymore. The spirit of the knife lives on. Yeah, <laughs> just lives on in MRR. Right. NRG. This is going to be a weird one because. What are we rolling with this roster? <laughs> like, what, what are uh, we thinking this shit's going to be? What's the rumors? Someone hit me with the rumors. I, I literally mean, don't know what just, the fuck's I, going on with I this I thought the rumors were holding out for Bustio. I, no, that's 100 Thieves. The rumors for thieves NRG are holding out for Demon 1 and Ethan. I've also seen rumor they were trying Stellar, um, at least according to yeah, the Yeah, because then they need an IGL. So, I mean, they need, they need a lot, but they do <laughs> confirm to have uh, Crashies, Victor, and Marv that... Core three. Right, okay. So we can certainly go off that. And then... And, uh, can people what did they do? Marv is... And also, <laughs> Marv, like, Marv is not in my head. He's not an IGL. Like, he's just not. I've, like... Dude. That, that narrative was spreading when he was playing on Send because he was like, yeah, I've been, I've been IGL in for them. Dude. It, most of the comment was coming from different people when I was, when I was paying attention to the Send comms. He's... he's like Marv's active, he like creates opportunities. He's a very active player, but they they're missing a big gulf there with the IGL for sure. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. It literally depends on how it shakes out with these. Yeah. With they the don't have a players. roster, man. We literally they have two <laughs> players, like two, three that's players, two, three that's players. That's why it's the photo. way too early tier list. <laughs> I would say if they get like, if they get like Ethan and Demon one, then that that's like a pretty S tier roster. That, that is, yeah, we're talking I mean, S tier with that. But, but, but is it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I, mean, I think D1 what and Ethan sure. are incredible players, but <laughs> who the fuck is coming? Who's calling for them? Mount. <laughs> Mount? <laughs> Mount? <laughs> Dude, they they'll uh, they'll be they'll be fucking they'll be cursed to just sit at the at the like top of the middle of the pack. I think they they top of the middle. Yes, like all the talent in the world. If they ah, if they if fine, they don't have direction, dude. they don't they don't gonna do anything with it, man. I've seen this over and over again. We all have. Like they y y they need they need something concrete there with 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 the calling. I feel like no. You, you got, what if they send Marv the leadership of... camp? You know, yeah. like they just get him, they get him trained up a bit to be a leader. Like he does, like they, they send him to like a, a, you know, middle manager type of training. <laughs> and like, bro, I'm just saying that like the talent would be, I, I guess you're, it's, it's, you're right, Bryn. You actually are right, but I don't want to admit it because if they got Ethan and even one, like, I if mean, they like do, roster. if they do, we don't know if they do, if, by the way. We, but, that's, but that's the whole point. That's the whole problem here is that we're currently debating Schrodinger's roster, man. Like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck this shit is. I mean, so... If, if, they, gotta, if they don't, though, at this point, I mean, what are they even... I, what are they going to do at this point? I don't... I mean, maybe maybe Stellar I mean, it's, for the IGL and then a, a duelist uh, from Tier 2, some... Yeah, maybe. Like, we'll just take a shot on one of their tier two duelists. I was excited when they were trying out narrate as a duelist, but then they, they, you know, they missed the boat on that. And he's with K Corp, which is still so fucking weird. But he's with K Corp, and they because they were holding out for presumably they were holding out for yeah. Demon One and Ethan. Narrate would have been a go-to tier two duelist for me. Past that, I don't. I mean, there's certainly a lot of them, but it, I, I don't. A lot of duelists, but are there a, a, is there a duelist that'll be like, you know, or like uh, are we I going think, to like Baby Bay to put it, like put him in maybe, I, ba maybe Baby Bay, but I don't. I think like if we're thinking like the best of the best is roster can build together, they're definitely like an A tier, like for best sure. Of the best of the best is S tier, bro. I know the best, the best is the best. S tier. Yes, that we, dude, that'd yes. be so fine. There's like three players that have like second hand IGLing from F and S. They would have gathered something. You got Ethan. Second well, hand IGLing. You got, you got, you got Ethan. It's Ethan like is smoky. Yeah, yeah, bro. You've been, in, you've been, is, you've been in the vicinity. Don't you get me wrong. It. Like he is the goat. They can all mid round. I'm telling you, I'm fine with it. Chat, chat has to get a little bit involved. They do some like pre pre stuff. Uh, dude, I'm I'm fine with it. I'm I'm telling you, that's an. You wanna put him in I'm, S? I'm, I'm actually, genuinely, genuinely, actually, I need to know. I need to know from, like, did did Chet get the homework sent in from all the analysts? Did you see that fucking tweet that he put out? Where he's like, I need you to analyze Chichu's Viper on Sunset and send me. Like he was like he put oh, the yeah. criteria. He's looking send, me, for, send me like Sova recons on Sunset. To yeah, he, he was like, like sending that. out like the criteria. It was like a little little Burnett like a daily to quest. hire an analyst. Yeah, he put out like a daily quest and everyone got to submit it. Like any <laughs> analysts because. Like Valorant, I genuinely a big, a big, yeah, may, I mean, I think so. But, <laughs> Valorant, uh, a portion, a portion uh, of NRG's woes genuinely, I think, came from that that support structure and how like Chet it was having to do a lot for that team alongside FNS, which it's a lot to do. You you need extra help. You can't you can't be playing an entire season with with just with just the one. I I mean, I could be ignorant of this as well. He might have had analysts in the past that I just can't think of. Like the past year, I don't know. Could be wrong with that. But yeah, if yeah. listen, they find an analyst. Sure. All right. I'm I'm down. I'll buy in. For posterity, if they don't have, uh, <laughs> this is such an <laughs> awful question. Because if they don't have Demon One and Ethan, who no, do they, they have, even have? Maybe I'll just roll dude. with Stellar and someone because that's on the spreadsheet from <laughs> Rob. I mean, I they think, literally this roster. Like, if they don't have, like, depending on what they get, this roster could go from like an S to like theoretically even like if they don't even have like a good IG, like a great IGL player, like what they build, could even get down. Potentially, no. Nah, I think it would still be an A tier. Probably, it would still probably be an A tier. A or top of B, maybe. Yeah, maybe I think top, of, top a, of B yeah. if they don't. If they don't, I yeah. Don't if they don't get the place. But listen, NRG just hold strong. Hold strong. <laughs> listen, it's a game of chicken. <laughs> it's a game of chicken. Right EG, we know that we know that our team is like they're suffering. The money's yeah. not looking good. They they can't hold on to them forever. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. I mean, like, dude, you say that, but like the guard. Okay, I'm just gonna. This is like the guard, like the, the, the shambles of the guard. Like, that is a fallen kingdom. There was just ruins, rubble left, and they're fucking fielding a roster theoretically for CDL, bro. And like, 
I don't know how they're doing it. So like EG, that sounds like that <laughs> org is about to like fall apart. It's gonna about to slide into the sea like Atlantis, okay? <laughs> and like that shit, like they could still, they could hold on to those contracts in a fucking manila folder, okay? Like they could, I don't know. Like I'm just saying like, it's possible. They could hold on forever. It's right. that, no, because dude, they, they the rumors were that the, the EG players got told like a 50% pay cut. 50% pay cut. They are trying I mean, to cut I, costs, I mean, bro. They are trying I'm to, sure they are trying to save money. But I'm sure they also want to, I'm sure they also want to hold, hold them under contract too. It's the same thing. Like, it's kind of like, they're like, they want to hold them under contract, but also cut their money. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> I it was like, dude, increase they are... their whatever, their like cut of the champions bundle, but we dock your pay. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Anyhow, we're going to keep. Are we really going to put them in? <laughs> if they I have think Demon 1 and Well, then, I mean, what are we. I mean, what. what yeah, there, I mean, there's other op- there, Okay. For the Redditors out there, the Twitter user are going to screenshot this. Someone append. Why is energy so high? It's, okay, can, can we, why do we even have them on the list at all? Because it's, it's, the, way way too, it's the way too early tier list. Way too early. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put out this thing so that the people screenshot it, and well, then, then they say, "Then they say, VC, it, VCT analyst, by the way, guys, then, I'm uh, never, I never, <laughs> I'm never watching a bunch we, of episode again, motherfucker. You always watch our episode. You know, you, we, there's no one else. There's no one else. You've only got us. You've only got us. <laughs> uh, you, got, you got no one else. You're, you're stuck with us. Okay. <laughs> well, I just don't know why we're justifying it. You know, we can't. We shouldn't cave. You know. We shouldn't cave to Justin Bieber. We should put it. We should put it up there. And then yeah, if you don't know that they only have two players, that's on you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> like. Okay, but I will say if okay, theoretically, if they have like two, any two guys off the street, we're putting them in B. Can we go with that? Can we roll with that? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Top if they put B. two random people off the street, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sure. All right. Top of B. If they sure. have two people off the street, we're keeping it moving. Sentinels. <laughs> A tier. I want this team in S. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no! Yeah, no. I no. There's the clout the moment. No. There's the clout moment. There it is. There's it's not clout. I, yes, right it is. Dude, I want this there team in S. That's the clout moment? It's no. A tier. I think an A tier is relatively I, I think, fair. I think A tiers. I agree with that. In terms of what we've seen, they look, they look very good on some maps. Like Sunset Bind looks pretty good. I think they have some potential if... We again get another patch that changes stuff up if they decide if one person falls ill like they seem to do every single week yeah. they've got a good stand in i think they're kind of i think they're kind of fine i hope they settle on exactly they're doing but i dude i can't i can't put this team in s tier at the moment no i don't think uh, you, you can't convince me that they're an s tier dude i think yet i think right zekin finally being put into that position to succeed it's like potentially one potentially the best player in america's next year which is cr- he, he, sounds crazy, amazing. but he's fantastic. And if they got Zelsus in as well, Zelsus in terms of his communication is amazing. Zelsus is they play so Zelsus, good. It is I go, anyway. John QT, I, I think, think they're not they're not going to struggle. With, they're not going to struggle. They're not going to struggle with a bad IGL. <laughs> no, John they're not going to struggle with a bad IGL. A lot and of teams Tana are going to struggle with smokes. that. Yep, I think this I, team has the makings of an S of an S tier team. I'm telling you now. They could be, but Call I just me don't crazy. feel comfortable doing it yet. Yeah, I, I'm, I I'm on board with that. Agree as well. Yeah, oh, like in, t- in terms of the pieces, like they're all good enough to be BS easy. It's just if it all comes together and if they actually settle on settle on their shit of who's playing, so yeah, I'm 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 already yeah. bored of like the this sick man. Like the, <laughs> just have a normal just have a normal roster man. Just have the five just a set five. Just decide. I actually don't care. Out of all six of them, they're all good enough. Just just settle on. Them. Okay, but above yeah. or below mm-hmm. loud. The uh, ooh. I'd have below. If we're yeah, if we're if we're in below. the universe where they are they're playing musical chairs with with a six man roster. Yeah, below loud. But in a perfect world where they've committed to five and they have a core of Zekin, Zelsis, and John, then I think that team does they just give everybody the business in Americas. They just give them the business. They they're right they're writing up the four oh one Ks. They're doing the business. They're they're no, because we're existing in a world where they're still fucking with their roster, right, and playing musical chairs with six with six players. So I would say below. So loud. you're saying they're gonna do the same thing as last year, but still be really good somehow. <laughs> when you put it like that, maybe like, they should be. But I mean, but also, but the thing is, they have a better IGL still, so they're gonna do the same shit with a better IGL. 
And, and is so, this not? Yeah. I, I guess this is us jumping to conclusions, right? Because in theory, they have five, and Zelsus is just a sixth. He just stood in. Yes. Yeah. Well, we also have them currently ranked below a team that has two players. So. Yeah, that is also true. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, so, that is also the tension of the players. You know. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's all hy it's all hypothetical in some um, instances all right. here. Hundred thieves. Ugh. I. I. <laughs> I don't. Uh... Um, I got. I mean, I got what's a bit, the roster? I got a bit even of it's faith. like what? It's like Bang, Cryo Cells, EU. Who? They still have Asuna, right? Like Asuna, so, yeah. and yeah. and then they want Boostio, but EG's holding out. Is the rumor okay. they played with Nature? Let's just roll with Nature. I think that's easiest. I, no, if we're rolling with well, yeah, the perfect storm of NRG, but then they actually surely, played yeah. with Nature. But, so, I, but, but I can't judge that too much. The, yeah, it was like, I agree. I think, I think if we're rolling with the NRG thing, we've got to be rolling with the best. Yeah, outcomes. okay. It's right, got to be right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do the both thing again. Like okay. The, all okay. right, but we'll place them with Boostio, yep. and then we'll do the vocal, this is where they are with nature thing. Okay. Okay. They have Boostio. <laughs> what are we doing? They do have two coaches this time. Yeah, they do have two coaches. That's true, actually. They've actually got help there. Um, uh, so I'm, 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 I'll, I'll chime in because there's silence. I'm going A on, on this You're one. You're going like A? We're like we, we, we Cryo getting an op. They have a better understanding. They have more coaching stuff. I feel like the players are legit. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a believer. I, I think I, in, in terms of what we saw in terms of a season, long season, one coach, you're always going to look crap straight up. So Yeah, I think that's, that's kind of where I'm leaning. Genuinely as well, when I, when I think of what this team needs the most, like needed the most, it was coach and staff. And I think they needed a really strong, solid voice in the team because it felt like the team just had their confidence knocked very early on. And you could just feel it in the way that they played, the way that they moved around the map. Like they took fights. It felt, the, the monitor's gone. Oh, okay. The, the, it felt like the, the way they took fights, uh, it just, they just lacked confidence. They lacked, they lacked the, the ability to play off of each other. They, weren't, they just weren't locked in. It's like almost they didn't believe in themselves. And I think there's nothing to offset that than one of the most patriotic cores of humans that you could possibly introduce, like Bustio. The, the, he, the man bleeds the American flag from Florida itself. He's probably owned an alligator at some point in his life. He is, the man, the man has confidence out the wazoo. So I, I genuinely, I think you inject him into this team and like, like, like an aura of intimidation, but the absolute inverse. It's an aura of inspiration. He is gonna, he's gonna be fucking running that flag back and forth. And I, I, it could ignite new passion into that team. As well as that with the coaching staff. I, I, I think I agree with you. It's A. But it's like end, end, end of A to be a little bit safer. If, uh, if yes. Bruce is not yeah. in there, I'm, I'm okay. leaning like... Actually, I don't even want to say where I'm leaning towards that. But I think he's the savior for this team. I mean, that's another team that could theoretically, I'll say, that could lean towards like a B. If oh, you're nicer than me. Oh, so yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah. B, <laughs> if they have... <laughs> if they don't have Bustio. If they don't have Bustio. If they have Bustio, mm. I'm throwing them somewhere in the A mix. If they have Nature, I'm throwing somewhere in the top B. I mean, yeah, I think, exactly. I think maybe bottom maybe. B. I think, I think that's how big of a difference Bustio makes. Because the, when I, I genuinely think they just like lack a really strong leader in that team for a long portion, along with just like how, how hard the prep was. I, I think that's how big of a difference a player like Bustio uh, can make for a team like that. Yeah, I second that. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of kids in that team. Too. Yeah. All right. C9. We've seen a whole lot of this team. They took Fnatic to five. So, you know, sure, weaker Fnatic out of practice. They just showed, they just showed up and won. Um, but still. Yeah. Have they done enough to be worthy of the A tier? Um, uh, I would say so. I think he, uh, yeah, I think you got to shoot him some bail for the most recent I think tournament. Based of off their current performance, you have to, right? If we're putting 100 thieves in A tier right now, like, yeah, I mean, if they flew over 5,000 miles, like, to, to, yeah. to get to the event in the first place, I think you, you have to, you have to think as well. From what we've seen as well, we know this team has the potential to really do quite well. Uh, I think that's reasonable to put them in, uh, put them in the A tier. Yeah, I think Oxy can be like one of the best. 
So I'm kind of down for that. But at the moment, I would say like low A. I think we also have to remember they've been boot camping for a, for a long time. So maybe they looked um, a lot better than some of the other teams because of time put in. Yeah. Um, but I also think they were like trying a lot of stuff and just like finding the limit, um, like limit testing a lot. So I'm kind of down for A. But again, I think it should be like nearer the bottom. A. But All I'm right. Just a, that, that, that needs Oxy to just go nuclear. Like he needs to be one of the best players in America's after this year. No? You don't like it? No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, evil geniuses. I mean, oh my god. I, this is another way too yeah, early tier list moment. Hold on, what, what, what is the roster if everyone leaves? If everyone I mean, vacates? Well, for sure, if these people leaves, won't play. Don't know, right? I don't even think people know what the roster would be. They have, they have some no... I saw another rumored one recently. I don't have the most recent spreadsheet up. But it was that that was another team. I I remember they in the most recent one they were trying Stellar. Oh, is this the most recent one, Kurt? Can you zoom in? I can't read. It's so far away. Oh, it's Demon One, Jorgama. What well, Demon oh, no, One? That, I swear I saw more. I mean, recent it's one. pretty much <laughs> it's, the same. It's the same team. roster. Demon the One, team. Ethan. Bro, but that's no just because rumors. they're there's no nothing. They're holding out well, a contract. Is, I don't so basically, think they have people to, to do to do like the, the for rumors to occur you have to have staff to do things and like each that org is collapsing <laughs> into a singularity yeah, I like i don't know who's so... running the ship who's running the ship they might be rudderless right now they i genuinely i i don't know i i feel so bad for 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 potter because i feel like this team eg really did luck out this year in terms of getting really quality support structure around them and really quality players as well and having that internal system as that just just a lot of a lot of a lot of circumstances that came together and it felt like maybe this is too harsh but it felt like just upper management had nothing to do with it i mean i don't think that's too harsh like that's it how just it felt like the entire time they were just doing their own thing yeah as a matter of fact at some point there was a rumor that it was like potter if you don't get results mid-season you're gonna get let go there was a rumor article about that and then like, it's just like Dude. without a doubt the mvp coach of the year turned yeah. this fucking team <laughs> of nothing into it's the so champions sick. it's like i yeah i, I mean so that's crazy it's i just... think we need to make an exception we should not talk about the best case scenario for eg we should talk about the most <clears throat> realistic scenario cuz i think the most realistic scenario is that it's just chaos and they're just scrapping together a team after they after energy, like well, but what if they the scrap together the team somehow. and Potter stays with EG and then wins again with the, the new scrap team? <laughs> then then the Potter is the goat. I mean, Potter's already <laughs> the goat, but that's like yeah. that's undisputed at that point. I mean, listen, you can be the best coach in the world, but if you're getting no help at all, you you are on an island. Like you are just an, on an absolute island. I I have spoken to plenty of coaches about this as well. If you don't have the help, the season, especially next year, like the next year is going to be longer. It's going to be more grueling than the previous one. You are you are toast if you do not have the extra the extra help as well. So yeah. I, I feel like it's just the most realistic scenario will probably end up being. I I think that the contracts will lapse. E.g. won't want to play for the for the most expensive players like for most of them i think and I, I think they'll have to scramble together a roster and work with with the pieces again only this time it's not you know making something out of nothing like they did this year they, they, there's not going to be as many pieces like it's just it, as far as i'm aware it'll just be potter right i mean zeke's not there like zeke was the assistant coach helping in the mouth i'm not really too sure what his impact was um as much but i mean you're just gonna have potter and then her trying to uh, trying to trying to scramble together a team that can actually do do something and you don't have the secondary roster this time as well. You don't have the the luxury of running those running those drills and getting that really concrete practice where you can just just absolutely hone those ideas that EG were were flexing on people. Like their fracture map, I guarantee you, a part of the reason why that fracture was so good is probably because they drilled a lot of that stuff. Um, there was so much prep stuff in terms of just what Com was doing. So I, I think the likely scenario is, unfortunately, that this team ends up being in in F. Kurt, could you, was that Flynn's spreadsheet you brought up on screen, the most recent one? Just Yeah, Flynn had to take a break from uh, the spreadsheet to focus on life stuff, so it's pretty, it's pretty old. But I yeah. think it's the most recent one. It's October 17th. Yeah, I don't know if I had a dream about this. I was dreaming of spreadsheets because I swear to God <laughs> there was one that had a rumored EG roster with Stellar on it. I, I swear. But I've also, you know, there's like... I think it was a scrim rumor. Screwface was an option. Maybe it was a scrim rumor. I think it was a scrim You're rumor. You're right. It was a scrim yeah. rumor on Reddit. That's what it was. Um, 
I don't know if that's findable. It was definitely recent, maybe in the past week, but regardless. Was it Stella and Corey? It was. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It was Stellar, Corey, Jojimo, and Calm, I want to say. Yeah. It was something like that. And then, I don't know, fifth, maybe like Screwface or something because he's still just associated with the roster. But... Uh, I mean, this one is impossible. It's just... <laughs> yeah, it's... This is literally impossible. put them in SRF. F for, or, like, I, 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 maybe we just don't even put them on the list. No, no, no. no. Just I put think we F. put them in F. And I also kind of want to... I don't know, man. I feel so uncomfortable with 100 Thieves. I, I, I think we were talking about, like, the best case scenario for NRG. But isn't the best case, like, the most realistic scenario? Like, NRG... Not necessarily. NRG has, like, one of the... As far as I know, they have the most money out of, like... All of mm. NRG are definitely they, are they not have fucking broke around. the bank on their team. They're not fucking but around. They might like, not this year. But also on top of that, it's not just about it's also yeah. not just about having the most money. You still have to beat the contract boss. Like like what's like, you know, there's a lot of different factors that money doesn't money will solve the majority of the problems. But sometimes you can't fix every problem with money if like contracts are like super fucked up. You know, like uh, yeah. So it just it really just depends like on what the <laughs> like with the variables are just listen you ate a receipt and you're getting in the shot the, 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 it's, it's, so we're you know we're i think it's just there we have to go with the best case scenario of energy because i think they have the resources to make it happen i think eg has no resources to make any best case scenario happen eg is hoping for a mr beast video to help them out <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and that's that's kind of one of that's kind of why i want to pull 100 thieves down like they're, I, they're not might, having a great time as an org right now we might end up i think sure. we might end up adjusting a lot of these because we're definitely being pretty top heavy right now yeah but i want to just yeah, do this but, real quick but but just let me do it. We can move it later. Okay, I think if we're putting 100 Thieves of Bootsio and Beats here, I want to move C9 down, yeah, too. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, we got to adjust um, here. we got to make an right, adjustment. You can't just do the one. I think C9, C9 right, goes down. Up here. Hold on. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, right. Let's take it over. He's well, taking it over. Yeah, yeah, come on. Crazy. Hold on. Hold wrong. on. We're on. Wait, are you guys cool with the C9 100 Thieves thing really quick? I think that's fine. Putting them in B just for some separation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, spread it out a little bit. We, 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 same getting, order so far, same yeah. difference. We'll see where things I'm go. I'm not really happy with NRG, to be honest, but that's but I got out. Yeah. I got out. I mean, there is, I'm not happy with NRG only. either, but this is quantum Wait, is only physics. Me? <laughs> so I'm high out all of you. <laughs> Put NRG down then. If it's just me that thinks NRG would be top. Well, no, I'm, it's no, not I'm with unhappy. you. I have the mess. I'm, I have the mess too. I'm just unhappy with NRG because I don't, like, it's the most egregious of all the potential roster. Like, this is literally tarot deck. Like, I was kind of... I was on board with the rumors. I was like, you guys are saying them. It sounds like it's likely. So I was like, yeah, this sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I just, we're just going I don't know, I don't about the, the money complications. Right, 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 right. I was just like, yeah, I mean, good. we actually just psyoped you. So that's fine. There you go. <laughs> okay, <we're sorry. laughs> All right. Order in the pod, Furia. I, I, think, know, it's I think it's right, easy. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks all right. I'm like more Furia. excited about them than Cloud9 or 100 Thieves. Even yeah, though I, Cloud9 I, fatigue at this event, I, I'm still... And again, I might just be off no, this yeah, WC think... pill, but I'm going to go with bottom A. Yeah, I think, I think A tier is deserved for that team. A... Oh, All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for it. That'd be good. Okay, cool. I like this. Uh, G, G2. Um, what? I... Do, do, are people... Uh, take, so the Sentinel's it's... invitation, has is that, is that really swayed people away from G2? Well, it wasn't just that. They played a few no. other matches, but they were like the show matches and stuff. Remember, yeah. Right, as far as I know. Dude. But even still, I don't... <laughs> Oxygen are Oxygen on a bad team. Legit roster. Oxygen are not a bad team. Roster. They have this had is, a rush. This is top A for me. Dude. Top you, A for Sliggy? Yeah. This is a legit. I was, I was definitely leave. thinking A. So you have top A? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's reasonable. Top. Dude, look at this team. Look at I know. I would have them in A, but I don't know about top. Uh, dude, I think they, if, if they, the top a, they lost the If they didn't twice. play in any tournaments, we would be putting them in S tier. No, that's also yes. true. No, no, I think, I think I don't he's think right. I, I wouldn't have put them. I mean, you I put them in S. I would put them top A. Dude, if they, they played no tournaments, I would put them top A. They won Ascension, and they've got Leaf in. Well, yes, but look at the S tier. Still, I would put them top A. Well, I mean, listen, we're splitting hairs. Top A. It's uh, so like uh, top A is punching into S. Top A, a Laura. Yeah, yeah, so we're splitting hairs on that. But I think have we not learned the the lesson from the Red Bull to the right of Sentinels or something. Just put them in between there. We can adjust it. But they're in. Okay. I'm telling you, this is this is A. Sure, it's put them to the right of Sentinels. That's fine. I, I I'm rolling with A still. I I don't buy into the, like what, their performance so far that much, but it's enough that it's like knocking it down a little bit. Yeah. Um. 
All right, next, uh, BBL. <laughs> Pull up the roster. Gotta take a look, <laughs> <laughs> a look right. at this. We have, Gotta take a look at this one. Kushner, uh, Rizzi, Power, Brave, and Elite. It's not bad Silence. It's not, no. Did they... It's not, it's not bad on paper. I mean, they, it's I not actually not bad. It's a show match versus footballist, but... Who I'm gonna let Sliggy do this. No, dude, no, I don't yeah, know what about this elite what the these guys or some of them. See, I think that they kind of, I would go like low B, really. Like I, I think poor is kind of kind of legit and probably actually give them a lot more structure in this. And I feel like they have the firepower, but I don't think I can put them any higher than low B, really. Listen, I'm I'm gonna trust you on this one because I don't the I, new players. I have never seen them in my life. Who um, who are the new players again? What teams do they play for? Who was the Turkish team that was like actually looking like the best team in, in Turkey? Like in click tier on, two? Click on Elite. I think it's the best Yeah, we're looking so, at Elite. So SUG was, LSG. LSG was Pura. They won, um, they won the Turkish yeah. Ascension. And then this guy was in um, Supermassive. But he oh. kind of carried this team a little bit. Was it him? There was someone else that carried team as well. Dude, I, I, I want to be a stats Steven, but... Yeah, I'm leaving. I, I don't I don't want really to. Listen, I'm just trusting Sliggy on this one. I don't, I don't <laughs> no, have a like this. I don't have a like this. I'm just trusting Sliggy here. Bottom B. We can put I'm them rolling. in. We can put him bottom B, top C around there. That, that's where I'm leaning towards. Cool with me. Um. Uh, uh foot though. I'm excited about foot. Yeah, I think foot, foot's got it going on, right? I'm I'm looking <laughs> towards somewhere around the <laughs> like Furia area. <laughs> That's with, that's where I was thinking as well. I was looking, I was thinking towards the B, and then I saw Fury there, and I'm thinking, well, they have to be kind of above Fury in my eyes, really. I think this is, I think this so is too, going to be the best Turkish team. Look very scary. Yeah, I, they should be punching for a top spot in EMEA. I think they're close yeah. with Fury, but I would put them, I would edge them over Fury. But it's not like a, it's it's not a massive difference. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe with that in mind, honestly, maybe we move Fury to top. B or no, we can I, leave it there I, for I, now. I, I we'll, like, we'll leave it there for now. We'll I like it. Fury. No, Fury, Fury there, looks good with the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll I leave mean, it there for now. Okay. Sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. All right, gentlemates, uh, how hyped? Are, listen, G two one ascension. We put them in a gentlemates. This is a different story. Gentlemates felt like a bit of like just the, the spark at the right time. You know what I mean with that with that roster? Have they have they made any changes? No, just keeping the same just roster. Hundred percent same team. I think, I think this is a team that could definitely do some damage. I, I would be. I'll be okay putting them in the B tier. I think this is a team that might just be destined to be in that middle of the pack, just always being like occasionally taking a win against one of the top teams, maybe throughout the throughout the season itself. But uh, just maybe short, falling short of the mark. But I'm I'm just basing that off of the ascension performance, which which you know it didn't look likely that they were the ones that were going to win it. Um, it was it was very much like a flash in the pan kind of thing. Um, I, I would still uh, have them below hundred thieves with Boostio yeah. though. I agree. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, but I think, I think these, like I think that's lower, lower B, top C. Yeah, I, I think they they have a core for a long time as well that's gonna help. And existence is like pretty good at inventing new stuff that can kind of win a lot of stuff. I think maybe honestly they might struggle with a um season. Like I think that's probably the the thing that might make them like a C tier. But other mm. than that, I think they're kind of fine. Yeah, I'm I'm cool with that for now. Giants, they still have uh, Fatinio, Cloud, Hoodie, and Nookie. They just brought in Redgar. Brought in Redgar. Kind of similar <laughs> expectations, I would say. Was that on mic, Kurt? Oh, oh! I just well, hear, I love Red Gar, but come on, man! I just hear, oh god, <laughs> from the from the, produ <laughs> from the Bro, production I, suite. I, I, I'm like, uh, my my brain can't get over the loud liquid game, um, Haven, where it was just some of the worst calling I've ever seen, man. So that's oh, why I'm yeah. like. Oh. But it's only one game, so, and everyone has bad games. But I'm still just like, still thinking of that game over in my mind, and just seeing a wall come up, and just seeing no flash through the wall, and I'm just like, bro, surely someone has to tell. Like, surely there has to be a flash at one point. So yeah, I was this this one. Holy hell, I lost my mind. This is one of the worst games I've ever watched. Um, <laughs> so, with that said, yeah. with that said, put them in the S tier. Um, so I, I, I mean, low A. Are people fine with that? Because. Oh, maybe not. Looking I mean, places. I feel like I feel like I would be fighting for them in a B tier, personally. Okay. I'm, dude, I'm down I think for it. I think Giants. I think this core earned a B tier for sure. 
I think with some of the changes like to the rest of these rosters and Giants really making very what like they only it was just the addition of Redgar, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Um like I don't know. I think I think B tier seems like very fair because they because also like their season was essentially almost over if not for their LCQ run last year anyways too. So like they didn't have like an amazing season necessarily. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um oh. <laughs> heretics. Um yeah, this is a totally different uh roster with Her Ooh, Heretics and loads of Loads of new kids, so Boo, Boo and Benji Fishy, Mini Boo, um, Zen, so brother of Boo, and then Wu and Rain, so just like super young kids as well, just new, just kind of frag out in the Turkish scene, and then Benji Fishy's obviously in the Fortnite. Go that is but, fucking um, crazy that Mini Boo and Boo on the same team. That is fucking <laughs> yeah. wild to me. Like this shit, like they they've built like this is like a fan fiction. <laughs> like that, like I get like it's already happened before with like Scream and Nevera essentially, but like the the fact that it's Boo and Mini Boo, like it was like if your Wario and Waligi had pulled up here. here. <laughs> um, I am super excited to watch Benji Fishy more, to be honest. Yeah. But that's also because Benji Fishy helped me win a uh, couple grand in Fortnite <laughs> by just watching his videos. <laughs> He helped me very much Dude, he was back the in the Fortnite, Fortnite tournaments in like 2017 or whenever that was. Um, I, I, I think with this, expectations are low because they're new players, so like top C, somewhere around that. Because again, this yeah. is a lot of players that haven't yeah. played on LAN. Like, that, I would like, put I'm them glad they're doing off-seasons. But... Personally. Oh, and crew. maybe even in my ER. Listen, it might be the Krupium, but I mean, I don't know. I think Crew. I mean, they had, I shy with, had a good, was it good last year? Like, I like I mean, I still am a Kesnet, Church of Kesnet believer. Like, I still think they have, like, I don't know. I still, I feel like it's a little unfair to put them above crew considering it's, like, relatively unproven at, like, the tier one level. You know, yeah. at least crew is, like, sure. competed and had success there. I mean, that's at fine. Times. Dude, would problem? you guys say this team has, like, a crazy potential to, like, completely overperform, though? They're, they're one of the, yeah. Honestly, yeah. They actually have crack kids. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty good players. So. Yeah. If they got the confidence, if they have the confidence that I've seen them have in practice on stage, then they're a scary team. But uh, again, it's it's a different environment when it's land. So, All right, cool. I didn't that. know Benji Fishy was British. Yep, yep. Good lad. I didn't know that. Yeah, good it's lad, unfortunate, that Benji. All right, <laughs> unfortunate. K Corp. <laughs> this is a weird one. K Corp with their wacky ass roster, Dude. bringing in Narrate, who I do like a lot, and then Chin. Magnum, uh, whoa, what is that dude? Tomazi and Martin, um, is the uh, current Ma stats. Magnum IGL is the only thing that I'm like a little bit worried about. For, and they have end sure. coach as well, yeah, but they have they have end coach, so I think that's going to be good. Um, yeah. Tomazi, I think he's going to be playing duelist. They got a lot of duelist players to, to yeah. be honest with you, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work out. But Martin is like incredible and he can play anything so i'm kind of a bit of a believer in this i feel like martin is really really good um shin i think deserves a second chance but they're not gonna be winning anything in, in my eyes it's just like they're kind of like a team heretics but like a better team heretics in my mind in terms of like maybe scarier players yeah so, but i i would be tempted i mean in my mind they'll probably be around the same as gentle mates yeah i was like gonna low, say the same low thing. B. You think it'd be around Martin, gentlemen? Uh, yeah, yeah, honestly. I would put I, them there. I think there. they're good players. Good players, good, good but players, good coach. Bringing the core over. or I mean, not just the core, the whole fucking team. <laughs> like yeah. This, so, I, so I, I think this is pretty perfect, to be honest. Is it just Eng on the team? What? Is it just Eng so for coaching? Coach? Um, no, don't they still no, have... No, they have Zeich um, still. As he says, Zeich. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not updated. It's just all in the updated. spreadsheet under the, like... This is who they have thing, but they're not signed. Yeah. Um, I think that's perfect. Sure. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll accept it. And then yeah, tr tr uh, trust me on that one. They got some. <laughs> they got some good players. They're they're above C. They're above C. I'm sure. Okay. And then uh, we're moving on to Koi, who was, I mean last season were they had ups and uh, downs. They had ups and well, downs. They uh, all right. So they retain Trek, Starzo, and Shade Off to bring it in Shadow, and then uh, Ammo. Who I'm not familiar with. And also unfake, but, I believe, as well. Uh as uh 
<laughs> as, as a player, uh, as a what? I think as a player. A sub? I think as a player. I mean, it's not yeah, listed on the spreadsheet. Oh, it says sub. Yeah. I'm yeah. rolling with the spreadsheets here. I think the spreadsheet so, might be out of date, though, for this. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, we're it? over a month yeah, behind Yeah, because it's, like, a, a, point, it's so. like over a month out of date. Okay. So I think this, this is the most up to date now. Okay. Um, gotcha. But, I'm rolling. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll come in. I'm not a believer, man. What's, what's one of the low tiers? You're not a believer in this? <laughs> not a believer in this one, nah. Mm. I'm not. But like a, a C, I, I'd be down for F. I'm straight up not. You right. F? <laughs> F? F? Wow. I'm F? not a believer in this team. Really? Yeah, I just, yeah, I just don't, I just don't think it. I mean, I'm down to be proven wrong. I just don't, like, I look at that, I'm not that scared. Like, unless Shados is like on a, on a better role, I'm not sure. Josh last week said something along the lines of hating this Koi team because they're wasting Trex's career away. And yeah, I, I can't mean, help it's... but agree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I, I still I I think Trex is just fantastic. And the others need to I don't think they deserve the F tier. I really don't think they deserve the F tier. I, I think I mean, they lost I want to roll that for clout, though. Dude, too. I mean... <laughs> no, 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 genuinely. I listen, I like it. I like the spicy taste. You guys would agree that it is possible for them to be F, but do you think it's likely? I don't think it's likely. I mean, likely. last season, we would have said it. it's not likely, and then they're at the fucking bottom, so... Listen, I'm I'm not mad at it. What I mean, if it's either that or like <laughs> the bottom of C. Uh, yeah, I mean bottom of C. I think for a team to deserve F tier, they have to be truly like just. I mean, we can go back through another pass of this too once we yes. place more teams. Yeah. I think, but yeah. like, but I agree with Brendan in that F tier to me is like a team that's like this team has no shot ever of beating. Like this is like a team that you would be shocked for them to yeah. win more. Yeah, like Koi, like I can see matches. on like an off day, I can see them beating a team that no one was expecting. Didn't yeah. they like but randomly no beat Navi expecting? at some yeah. point last season? Didn't they what? Yeah, yeah they beat them in the LCQ. That was like the first match, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So you never know. Yeah, put them in C. Leave All right, down. Liquid. I mean it. M <laughs> I want to say I've got him like top B at the moment, somewhere in that region. Can you pull up the roster for me, Kurt? I don't know if it's going to be. Is it all the way on there? Confirm. Oh, okay, it is. Cool. Yeah, it's so pretty yeah. much, yeah. They have pretty the much audio everybody. listeners. They, they retain Yampi and Nats. They bring in Enzo as the IGL, Mystic and Kiko as well. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going with like top B or around that lower A tier. I like Enzo IGL. Nats has not fallen off at all. I, mean, I think they also promising. getting those, those players from Apex too. Apex had a great run. Yeah. Year two, you know, like I think they were I, really good last year. So. Yeah, it's. I like why why are you hovering over A cut? What's going on? I'm I'm not convinced. What's going on over in? I don't why? think I'd put them above the foot like a, though. I like a. I like a top Which of B is, to maybe over Furia. Dude, it's that would be crazy my... that people are going to be like really annoyed. Yeah, you guys are right. but like... We're not putting them over foot, but... I really like the foot team. I, I really think that team is... Uh, I, yeah. I, I really like the foot team. I, I think, okay, oh, it's, it's my own orc, so I need to be careful. But I think the main thing that I have to, I have <laughs> to touch on... on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> the, the, the main thing that I have to be really, uh, really adamant on is... It's proven back to back like people that can't perform when it matters on LAN. And I think this is perfect situation to get rid of that and to get rid of like the, the choke of it. But this is uh this is a lot of proven players that have like choked in terms of yeah. like uh, especially the Apex Corks. They were so dominant in the tier two. So we have to talk about that. So um although like I think they probably should be in the A, until I see them perform on LAN when it matters, I still think they're like top B. And this is my own team, so I apologize to them. And I like them all. But I think I think that's fair. I think they have the potential to be A tier, but until we see them actually not choke when it matters, the, the, we can't put them in A, really. Yeah. Like I know Nats, Nats Cypher, like all that stuff, it's like perfect storm, but at the same time, it, that barrier, they, they got to they gotta perform when it matters on a, on a, big, on a big game that matters because, um, yeah, it's just known chokers. Yeah, I think 
this is I think they'll be better than last year, which is kind of or this year, which is crazy to say because they did they won EMEA. Um, but also, I think that was just again that was lightning in a bottle where you had players playing at peak performance. Everyone was hitting like from across the board, um, and they caught they they definitely caught Fnatic. It felt like on a bit of an off day. So, but despite all that, I think if you just look at the season as a whole, I think you should expect better things from this Liquid roster. But it's the same. But uh, I agree with you. I mean, we were talking about it when we were discussing you know the Liquid additions and this roster in one of the prior episodes. It's it's still got that just that, that dark cloud hanging over the heads of a lot of these players in terms of performing in those big game moments, which, you know, people have, people might be confused at what we're referring to, but it's literally just like, like the, the old, old Fnatic core never being able to get it done or pull it over the finish line. And um, the same now with, with a lot of the Apex players, just not being able to actually get it done in, in the Ascension tournament when they were heavy favorites, you know, they were heavy favorites to win it all. So there's a, there's a lot of doubts hanging over them, but this is a great opportunity to to essentially just shut us up and, and, and prove us wrong. And I think this roster should, uh, at least the baseline level for me is is better than than what they had this year, which, um, yeah, people might be surprised at, but, uh, but I... I'm rolling with this. I think this is a yeah. great yeah, spot. I, I, yeah, I, I like it. I agree with everything he said. I think the, the thing, the base potential is just like way higher. It's more, con it feels all more consistent. Yeah, it's just consistent, right? It's just, it's, just the, it's just the choke thing. It feels like they actually have like a a group of people that are going to get on and i think in a stressful season that this next year is going to be i think that's super important um but yeah it's, it's just the choker thing i gotta I, you gotta say how it is like everyone's thinking it all right next up and last for emia uh vitality definitely seen a lot of hype around this roster safe coming in off the back of a pretty outrageous season his best to date mm -hmm. um peaked so we'll see where he's going to be at. But yeah, so we're looking at uh, Sender Destrian still on the team, Kicks and Runner being brought in alongside Safe. I, I really rate Send, uh, Sender and Destrian. Like I, I rated them this year when I was watching them play a lot, especially Destrian, I think, is, is really smart with his util. And Safe, you cannot deny this guy is just an absolute freak. I mean, he's one of the best duelist players in EMEA. Like he's just, he's, 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 he's unreal. I mean, it, it, so what, any doubters? Any doubters? No, I'm not a doubter. I think I think this no. team has has yeah real chances to go quite deep, but it's it's still a bit iffy. I wouldn't say it's like I, I wouldn't say like oh I guarantee this team to be punching for top four in EMEA. I would say I would put them I would put them in the same kind of the same kind of bracket as as Liquid. I, I think, think that's fair as well. They got unproven really, players. They, they got unproven potential players. Like that's the thing. It's just like Lan again. Uh, it's runner and kicks, right? Like obviously stats wise and what we've seen online look insane. But lands, um, I don't know. It's it's kind of un, unknown territory. So maybe yeah. it'll take like a little bit for them to get good. Is but, it? I mean, out I'm down for an A B ish pocket to say that. I feel like their their base potential or where they're gonna start out the gate will be better than Liquid, but I could see either being the better team when it's all said and done. Yeah, I think they're, they're kind of in a similar boat where they, they're probably just going to fluctuate amongst each other. Um, like in EMEA, I think they're, they're, they're one of those teams that is just like, that, that have that chance. There's, there's one of these teams that we're listening like out of like Fnatic, Na'Vi, uh, maybe not Fnatic and Na'Vi. I think those are, those are probably going to be way like near the top but in terms of like foot vitality and liquid like who's going to be those, those are teams that for me are competing for that third place spot and anything could happen but as of, as of right now i would put them in this kind of order where i would have foot above all of them and i think i would have i think i would have vitality below liquid as well um just just out of gate from that but but i think they're all going to be aiming or at least they land roughly in the same spot and then also the teams could implode and we could all be totally wrong but <laughs> Uh, who knows? I mean, my Vitality's ass better not fucking explode. They have like eight coaches. Bro, they have like the support. They have support staff. Like their asses, they should be the most well prepped team out of all of them. They have the coach, the head coach, <laughs> the performance coach, two performance, the, the assistant coach. Yeah. They got two performance coaches. Bro, they have the performance coach for the performance coach. After he gets done coaching the mentals, his ass is going to be making sure how he's doing in his office. So, like, I mean, they, Vitality, they've got that shit on lock. They should have plenty of. Uh, help, you know. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, they should. I, I mean, I agree with. I, I'm gonna put Liquid above them simply because I think Liquid, <sighs> like Liquid, has never been 
it, ever since their inception and like with the players they have like i feel like liquid has never been like they've never been a point where like i guess they've they've had some moments but they've never been like a bad roster they've always been like a roster where it's like oh they could do something here like they they can do damage like they have potential like and i look at the new liquid core and i'm still like okay like this is still like a team that has like great players and like they're taking some chances here but like i really like the apex uh players addition to them like i don't know i i personally rate liquid a little bit higher than vitality right now i would okay so i i would have vitality ahead i don't want them up there with furia but all right so if one behind like what what do you think it's like for final placement uh dude i'm kind of fine with either of them honestly it feels like they're on they're on a similar base um may, maybe for different reasons but um, yeah Brand. yeah i do i just don't yeah. i just don't know how the two are going to perform I, yeah i think you just it, alternate honestly, liquid or vitality right. or whatever i don't i'm not I'm co- all right i'm cool with listen that. i'm not yeah i'm cool with that all okay right. all right sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh on to apac we're starting off with oh boy bleed with yay yeah old yeyster um, you know love them or hate them you're gonna watch <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah um yeah, so they've yay, Dirion, crazy guy, who's so fucking good. Scary, who's also so fucking good, and egoist. Um, pretty sick trio that they've got there. Well, sick trio, given that yay is, you know, optic yay and not DSG yay. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, a lot of this is going to come my... how much we factor in the last year's performance, or rather, <laughs> earlier this year's performance. One of my most viewed clips on Twitch is me looking at yay when he first joined DSG and saying... I really think you can you can do no wrong with this, you know. Like he's, he's in a team full of hungry players, <laughs> and we know he's a good player. Like it's it's only going to be you know people shouldn't have high expectations for him, but it's only going to raise his <laughs> stocks, right? Like it, it, we're going to still see that high peaks that we saw from him on an individual individual basis. Since then, I mean, <sighs> did not age well, and they had there was a, there was all those there was all those rumors like circulating about Ye is like an internal player, like he obviously has a very wholesome image, but. Um, I know the type of player that Ye is, which is a perfectionist. Like the guy wants to win. He wants to he wants to hone his craft. He wants to be a perfectionist. And what I can lead to is just a lot of clashes internally with teams when start when stuff starts to go wrong. Um, uh, will that be the same case with this with this team? I think absolutely the floor's higher compared to TSG when he was playing. Um, it just uh, I think it's it's pretty undeniable though. Like I think his stocks have, have gone down. They don't like they, you can't say they haven't. Based off of based off of the the last year that what we've seen, but it just depends on how much you think it devalues the rest of the roster. Which uh, bleed bleed are definitely good. I mean, I think that they they belong solidly in B. I agree. That's my take. Yeah, I agree with that they're like an upset. They're like an upset team, and then if somehow they got like or for champs, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I, I, I'm so fine with that again. I'm, I'm a bit of a, I don't know, I, I don't look at the DSG yay thing. I don't even really kind of calculate it in my head. Right. I've, I've heard some of the clips, I've seen some of the clips of like the comms and stuff like yeah. that. I'm just like, that's just not a, that's not a team that I want to base any kind of judgment off. So yeah, I'm, I'm in for B. Again, I feel it's like uh, aiming for the fourth spot, really. For so you're striking DSG specific. from the record? Bro, th- have you heard some of the clips that came from that team? That was crazy. Bro. <laughs> yeah, they were dude holy hell like <laughs> uh, my 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 premier team sounds more organized than that stuff <laughs> awful. Uh, actually awful bro yeah it was it was, uh, it was tough uh, yeah absolute shit show communication not good not peak efficiency no would good. we have them above 100 thieves though uh, i i think they'd be yeah, around just, that just, spot just put them to, to be honest. right actually, i would honestly, put them to the yeah, right yeah they might be yeah. 100 i would actually Put them above 100. Teams. I think I'll put them up Maybe above 100. Them, man. If they're playing against each other in an international event, yeah, who you who you betting on? With 100 thieves with Boostio, if 100 thieves with Boostio, I, I would definitely smoking? have 100 thieves with Boostio. I think it'll be. I think it'll be a close game. No man, it would I'm be really yeah, like crazy be guy and scary. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they are really general. good. They are absolutely really good. But have you heard of Yay at international events? I hear he's pretty good. Who? Yeah. He yeah, I good. think Yay is yeah, pretty he... good at inter- in international events. Really. <laughs> Sorry, that's, what did you that's... say though, Sliggy? Uh, dude, I can't even remember, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you caught me in the laps. There was a lot of audio. Oh. No, you're fine. There was, oh, a, lot, there was a lot of uh, cross audio. Just murmuring. 
You're good. Uh, detonation, focus me. <laughs> okay, this team is F, 100%. Wait, wait, what's, what's happening with this team? The one um, that is a great They're question. They're lost. They're lost. I mean, I have a spreadsheet that is like <laughs> nothing confirmed. Dude, they're lost. Is there anything on I got, VLR? I've got a source. You have a source that yeah. says what do you mean you have a source? What's your source? They're just like wandering through the fog gate and dark souls, but they've never, they, they can't walk through it. They just don't know what they, they're just perpetually walking through it. No, they, they, what they're saying is literally like, uh, so don't know how reliable this is, but this is the one thing I've got, which is Spreading, spreading, spreading rumors. Yeah, it comes. it's, it's, they've let like Anthem is exploring other options. So they don't have Anthem. They're likely signing a former Detonation player who's playing PUBG. Uh, okay, good. Hundred That's thieves a good start. strategy. Yeah, <laughs> and um, they haven't played Valorant like officially. They haven't played an official Valorant game since March. Um, and currently, the only players that are really screwing with the Detonation Focus roster is Suggest and Takaji. So they. They are lost. They're in. They're in the Dark Souls. Fo they're in the Dark Souls fog gate. They're lost. They they can't walk through. They can't get to the boss fight. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They are an F tier team. They, this is this is yeah. why the F tier was created for teams like this. I mean, they were oh, also I did not some research. Sorry, very good last year. Draft. So, no I did worries. some research, and it looks like the only PUBG team they have, at least from quick Google, is uh, a mobile team. Uh, well, it might be an old player. team, <laughs> perhaps. Imagine, yeah. But or if he's playing on an iPhone, then. That's yeah. crazy. Could be a mobile player. <laughs> they could be that. I mean, like Detonation wasn't even like I don't know. I mean, like they if they're losing players, like I'm fine to put it like an F. Honestly, yeah. I mean, like it's if just it's that team. lost, it's just it's just the they are the F tier team. They're I mean they're F below EG with EG not having a roster. I mean that's. I Do you mean, think they'll any... get their first win? What? No. Surely. No. Dude, the Surely F won. stands for Focus Me. I don't me. think they'll get a win. But I guess we'll find out when we it's... go through this. But right now, I have them in F. I think EG, whatever they're going to put together, I'd still rate above the FM. If it's something like oh my God, I, I Stellar Koi roster, win. they're better yeah. than the FM. Yeah. So I forgot they didn't win at all last year. No, they didn't. For some yeah. reason, I had in my mind that they had <laughs> gotten like one match win in Pacific. But then I'm like, wait, I'm, I'm looking at increasing horror. I'm just the Ratatouille chef guy, like, like scrolling <laughs> down. I'm like, oh shit. I forgot this team literally hasn't won yet. Well, yeah, that team is, that team's fucked. Like, yeah, there, there, yeah, that shit no, like, is, that, I mean, that is actually a disaster. What is going on in Japan? What's going on over there? Oh, well, listen, when we get to Zeta, they're last, but <laughs> they're not least. All right, DRX. <laughs> um, I mean, it's uh, easily S. an A, probably S. S. What's, uh, I, I think, no, there's so many questions, though, no, with this team. Yeah, like, that's, that's what I was What are say. they what running is... with a primary roster? Like, they're developing talent in all of these off-season events, but, like, are they, are they actually going to be trolling, like, again? Are they going to fucking, what was that? Was that F and S, like, photoshopped onto a chef? Uh, that was, I think that was Vitality's performance coach. I had that tab open. Ooh, look at what our auto Yo, what's up, guys? Wow. It's the fun game. <laughs> walk, walk through. Let's go to the other side. Go to the other side, please. Come back oh, to there us. We there go. we go. All right, we're good. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, who, oh, right. Wait, DRX. Who's, who's I got to put him bottom S tier, no matter, well, not no matter what the roster is, but surely they are not going to be playing Fox 9 and Flashback. I find that hard to believe. No, um, well, Flashback is like an academy player, so I don't... Also, Flashback, I don't think he's not even... He's not even, like... Yeah, he's, I don't he's, think he's... He's just like a stand-in for RB. Yeah. He's they, like their academy player. They're just letting... They're just trying to get Spotlight on him to sell, I imagine, or something like that, or give him some trials. I don't think he's anything to do with it. It's more just, this... is it Buzz or Foxy, right? I think is the question. Yeah. It's got to be, like, a bottom S top... It's a bottom S top of A. I mean, like, you have Mako RB stack still when they've got, like, Zest. I mean, like, come on, I'm, like... I am the number one Zest stan. The, the, the watching him get subbed yeah, out... Yeah, Zest is unreal. I, I was just infuriated watching him be a rock-solid player at every international event he had gone to, and just the, yep. the subbing in and out was driving me insane. But if this... Listen, they did... They, they stopped their roster madness at the tail end of last season, and I'm praying they learned their lesson. And if the lesson is learned this year, they are an S-tier team. They are a team that you're <laughs> going to see consistently in the playoff stage of international events. They have to be an S-tier for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, mm. I agree. 
mean, that's fair. You probably put Korean it coaches have to stop cooking. Well. They got to yeah, stop they really cooking. Do. Man. They I've really seen do. I've seen Korean coaches cook too much, too long. They're, I know they love like their, their their cuisine is a stew based culture, so they're used to simmering for a very long time. But like like that shit, that shit has to stop. Uh, it's got to stop. Uh, I will I, say as well, um, Buzz. Um, it's been Buzz on Jawless recently, right? Uh, he actually looks legit. Buzz is uh, all. I've been, Buzz is I've so been, good. I've been, I've been liking his jet. So if that kind of stays to those levels, then um, yeah. yeah, then I'm in for it. I made totally. a kimchi jjigae. Speaking of Korean oh, yeah. stews, stew based and, culture, uh, hey, listen, stew based culture, right? Stand a multicultural king. Listen, listen, and I was, I was the kimchi jjigae. You can like heat it back up on the stove again. So I made a big batch. And I was heating it up, and then uh, uh, ADHD moment. I uh, left the stove on and played two ranked games, and I was like, "Why do I smell smoke?" Oh my! And oh uh, <laughs> my! Yeah, just like boil, whistled it down with all the moisture gone, just. <laughs> billowing out of the thing and it was just burning just smoke coming out of the of the thing and Did you um, ruin I, the pot? That is this tough. happened this happened uh t like two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago now and um i'm still like it's like a gradual it's like the erosion of the cliff face as the as the ocean fucking hits it because i've just been working at it for like three weeks to try and get the to, to, to salvage the pot it's just it's just burnt to the bone that that that's what you just reminded me of connor when you're talking about is a your pot culture. that valuable? Yeah, is it's, like a it's, it's, set? yeah, it's an expensive pot. Or... I spent like four hundred dollars on this cookware. I want to, I want to salvage oh, it. Oh shit! Then yeah, okay, I get yeah. it. Then wait, have you used Barkeep's friend yet? You need that? Any Barkeep's friend? What? You haven't used Barkeep's friend, and you're trying to salvage a burnt pot? Bro doesn't know the tech. No. Bro does not know the tech. The what pot the hell tech. Is Barkeep's friend. I need what you to this? go to your local grocery store in okay. America. I need you to go to a Target and go to bar, go find Barkeep, Barkeep's friend. Okay. Uh -huh. But get the. Not the soft cleanser, the one. Go up, Kurt. Go to the round two, the tubular one. That's the one. The tubular okay. one. You want the tubular one? I want the tubular one. Because it's the tubular one. That shit does wonders. Okay. To, to salvage this shit, the if, pot. Like if they, if you, if you showed this to someone, if you showed this to like a chef in Paris in like 1600s, their head <laughs> would fucking explode. Their head, their, 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 their shit would go crazy. So okay. like, I'm telling you, that's the secret. That is the secret to. Well, I've just been, I've been, pot. I've been soaking it. I've been scrubbing it. I've been soaking it. I've been scrubbing that. it. It's been rinse repeat. I'm working at it. It's like it's it's. I'm chipping away. I am winning the war, but mm. yeah, it's hard. That's good. I'm glad that you are. Yeah. Well, uh, should we, we move on Gigi? to Genji? Yeah, Genji. we can just get out. Genji. Of the way. I think this is like we already a spoke C. about this roster today. I yeah yeah. I think C man. I think it's as much as there is talent on this roster, dude. I don't have a lot. I don't have high hopes for for them. Definitely talented players, man, but. I think the way it's currently looking, yeah, I, I just... I, I, I think that's, I mean, that's fully yeah. fair. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's doesn't, it doesn't excite me too much, but it yeah. seems that could maybe do upsets and stuff like that. It's, uh, um, global. Global esports? <laughs> Who have global esports got? They have Bin Kai, Russ. Russ. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's Genji, Genji, just Blaze put King, a... and Lightning Fast. We put on them um, like B or something. C, C. No, that's fine. B. Okay. Yeah, C. Listen, this is the segment in which we are going to enrage millions. But I just, you can't convince me to believe in this roster. <laughs> I agree. I, pull it, pull sorry, it up again just... for me. Pull it up again for me, cut. Thank you. The uh... God, there is, a, there is a firepower issue. I think that's yes. the main one. Like, Polvi has to be fragging out crazy amounts over towards here. Are they going to run double jawless with lightning fast? I've only seen him on a raise. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know what I don't know what people are playing, but it just felt like I, I just look at this and I'm like, man, where is the firepower, really? Like, Polvi has to look like the best jawless we've seen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He, yeah. he is just going to be the guy. And if it's not him, I mean, I can't be convinced either. I'm sorry that this roster is no, better than the one they had before. No, I don't think it is. And they were mid-table with Monyet, who is a freak of nature. Yeah, texture as well. Texture, yeah, texture. was great. I, I'm so... I, yeah, I mean, I just can't be convinced that this team is going to... They yeah. don't have firepower. I mean, I, think I, I, mean, I just totally agree with I what, could have what I mean, so. Detonation uh, and EG, for sure. I think I, you can I, agree with... I think I'd have them with that. Yes, I, I cut some slack for for Russ, which is strange because 
key his the the most the, the instance that people remember of Ross was like his his time in EMEA in tier one where he's playing on like what was it guild and yeah. he he was not good but I have a lot of sympathy for players that get forced into the the, the they're the glue role that of the the fucking I talk about this all the time but they just they are they have to be the flexible one and put into those positions but even still like that doesn't there's better glue players out there than Russ. Okay, like, I, I, I do want to say about Russ, and my memory on this might be totally off, so, you know, you can tell me I'm wrong. But I, I, f I don't think he was a bad player during their online year. I thought he was pretty, just a, just a solid player. Not amazing, not bad. He was just a solid player on Guild. And then when they got to LAN... That's when he just tanked. And of course, this is going to be on LAN, yeah. all of these matches. So listen, if that happens again, then, you know, maybe, hey, we're in trouble. Even more trouble than they're already in. But I don't think he was that bad. I think people just took that Copenhagen tournament and that just became <sighs> Russ as a player. Yeah. And of course, I, LAN I, performance is very yeah. important, but... Still, I feel like people are too hard on him. Yeah, yeah no, I, I agree. That's so fair, especially as like someone that's practiced against like Guild a lot when he was playing. I think it was definite underperformance from from his end. And like, trust me, some of the stuff that like that team at least used to do in practice was crazy. So yeah, I, I think that's very fair. I think there's uh, it, it's very over exaggerated at the moment in my eyes. But um, at the same time, I'm still worried about firepower of this team. Yeah, yeah I just don't see how they frag out as heavy as some of the other teams. Like they need to have the best strats in the world. Yeah. I mean, this is just the, you have a bunch of ingredients left in the fridge and you need, need to make a meal. I just don't, I just don't, I'm not seeing the vision currently. And Sliggy is, I just don't see the firepower in particular, like Sliggy was saying. So, I mean, like, I think they're better than a team that might not exist and a team that it looks like they are getting a potential mobile but gamer. I think, so, I think this team... I can't put them... Ab I'm sorry, I can't no, put not, them above EG. They're not above EG. They're because not above EG. I'm just going to roll with EG having that weird rumored roster with Corey, Stellar, Jojimo, Calm, and like Screwface probably. Yeah. And even though I'd still... I'd put that above Global. I, I think that's, a, his, that's not a bad team in my mind. That's no, funny. it's not that's bad at all. Team is. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's not, I mean, I just don't, I was just assuming that, yeah, I guess I'm going with the worst case for EG versus Which the is them case. picking yeah. random people off the street. <laughs> well, yeah. the, the worst case is, the, is their org exploding and ceasing to exist. Ah, so, yes. I mean, like, yeah. that, I mean, like, but bad. I guess overall, yes. If they get like a Corey and Stellar roster, yeah, sure. I'd have them over global. That's the, fair. It's just so hard to place them, though. I'm so, okay, my, dude, I'm so my, over My EG diagnosis this yeah. for, for this global esports team, though, so to get back on track, is I, I can see this team suffering from too high expectations for themselves and getting just weighed down by it. So my diagnosis is just they, they need to have fun. They need to be fun havers. They need the vibes need to be good for this team. I love that. They need to they need to just come into this with low expectations. Not not necessarily for themselves. They need to they need to expect that they can win every single match. You can't go into it with a defeatist attitude. Um, you have to go into it thinking you can win, but also just don't beat yourself up too much when shit is going to hit the fan, which inevitably it probably is with this team. But just go into it with with, with limited expectations and just remember that you know, listen, it's a small portion of your life. Listen, if if I'm the, the guys, just uh, this, listen, don't let it weigh on you if you start playing poorly. I've seen I've seen it happen. I've yeah. seen it happen. A lot of a lot of young men, right, listen, so they, they they let it weigh on them too much. You know, got the rest of their lives ahead of them outside of this season. Not to say it's over, but. Yeah. When the Pacific schedule comes out, mark your calendar. Yeah, for seriously, I, they just e need to have fun. It's, they need to be fun havers. Yeah, it's just. I hope they can do that in the face of having a very passionate fan base that wants greatness from this squad. Yeah, I I hope that doesn't 
weigh them down. But all right. Let's, I mean, part uh, of my French, but they fuck the fans. Like, they just they uninstall social media. <laughs> all the like, fans? Just all, yeah. All like, fans? yeah. I mean, unless they're being... Fans? Yeah. Unless they're being, a fan of anything? No, as long as they're being supportive <laughs> oh, they, to the yeah. team. But, like, most, most fans are not actual fans. They are just spewing hate to you online. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, the, pro, it's a real problem for pro players, but they will read everything online. The amount of times we used to go into the practice rooms in the Riot Games Arena to play our premier matches, and we would look it up, and the previous team hadn't turned off their PC, and they would be reading VLR comments or reading Reddit yeah. comments, and it would just be yeah, left seriously. up. Like, was so much. And it's I cannot stress enough how important it is to just separate social media out of your life if you are a competitor, because you are not going to read anything of value there. You are only just yeah. going to upset yourself. Because there are, so. I mean, yeah, there are, fa there are fans, and then there's, yeah. like, and then there's, fans. Exactly. Which is just, uh, you know. All right. Uh, Paper X, easy between S. Fnatic and Navi. I can't yeah. imagine anywhere S. else. It Give sucks they don't have Jing, but I will just... I, 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 every Monyet... I've, I've Monyet's maxed out my fucking bank account purchasing Monyet stocks. <laughs> I mean, he is just... <laughs> he's so... Fan, he, he is just an outrageous player. Yeah. I think this is an easy spot for them. And he disagrees. No. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah. I like it. Dude... They could be the best team. The team's so they good. They were one of the top they, they teams at Tokyo with a sub yeah, who only be. played Gecko. Like, this team is still <laughs> yeah. going to be good, man. Like, they, come on. Like, they are still going to be good. Like, look at this roster. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I, my God. I, I think Monia is as just fuck. as good as Jing, in my eyes. I don't think he, uh, he's just as good as him. Yeah, I, I think he, could be, he might even be better. No, I mean, Jing I is be, fantastic. I, 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 he is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but I think Monia is... Monet is so good, man. Yeah, he's, it's, he's it's very the perfect good replacement. Yeah, he's oh. definitely the perfect replacement. Yeah. And yeah, they could definitely win. And they could win every game, to be honest. It would be interesting. But I, we, there still isn't enough stuff. Like, Fnatic have to always be first in my eyes. Like, all they did was change the coach, and I Mini mean, didn't do anything anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Rex Region Keon. Um. Yeah, pull up the roster. I mean, I, mean, I have no a rumored one, clue. but I don't know how much this is matched up with reality. Um. So on VLR, yeah, I love this team. <laughs> I'm such a fan of this team. I don't know. You're um, a fan of them? Why? Yeah, I'm, what, I'm, what, I'm a fan of this team, dude. Like, I'm just, I just think they have a good coach. I think the Jemkins legit. Jemkins is uh, legit. Yeah. I just think last year they kind of uh, at least beat everyone's expectations. Um, I don't. Know, I have high hopes for this team, but I guess I'm rooting for them to go into B because anything else is a little bit too much. But I don't know what you got to say. Oh yeah, Jemkin is the guy who's like something too. Yeah, Jemkin is <laughs> Jemkin is legit. Kind of, He's legit, yeah. legit. Um, um, I mean, you know, maybe not as good as something, but you know, same same thing. Guy playing in Japan from Russia, but uh -huh. um, I'm gonna trust others on this one. I think. I, I think, uh, would I, if I like had them in a match versus 100 Thieves, would I have them beating 100 Thieves? No, I don't think so. Not if, we, not, not if this is the world of 100 Thieves Boostio. So I don't think I would have them beating Gentlemates. Um, Koi? Yes. Koi? No. I have them above <laughs> MIBR, Heretics, Crew. B I think between... I think that's a good spot between. I mean, I'm also I'm the one talking out of my ass here, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. I'm, <laughs> let me speak up on a thing I literally don't have information about. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna shut I, the fuck I, up. <laughs> I, 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 I think I listen. I run. I run. I'm running the simulations in my head. I think that's a good spot for them. <laughs> I can see the simulations them. running. Yeah. Do you ever see I those simulation see TikToks? It's like like the Roman army versus like an ostrich, and it's just like someone someone like programs it. <laughs> yes. Do you do? Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like just a clip of just like an ostrich running, just pelting <laughs> eggs at like the Roman army <laughs> running after it, and it, like that's what I just ran in my mind with these rosters, and I think <laughs> RQ were above them. I think that's that's it. Christ. All right. Yeah. I know fuck all about that roster, so I'm just gonna be like, whatever everyone else decides, I'm I'm there yeah. for it. I'll be happily cheering, I'll be clapping, I'll be there in the stands. They can green screen <laughs> me in. So. Sluggy, are you cool with that placement? Yeah, I'm a fan. I, I think okay. this is fine. Perfection. T one. <sighs> mm. Mm. 
I definitely want them in the top half. I can tell you that. And I, who are they going to run for their five is a question. If they do six, if they do sub roster bullshit, I'm going to freak out and put them lower. Well, we know that Excurate and according to Autumn, Excurate and Rossi are both starting. Yeah, and Zayn has got to be starting. I mean, I mean, God help what, us is, if King is, is not starting. Is well, who is Zion God calling? help us if King isn't starting? Zeta. That's his calling. Well, they have yeah. three different potential callers because Zeta, Rossi, and people. I don't know much about Excurate, but people have been saying uh, that apparently Excurate does call. I thought King was, so. was King not on IGL. Am I crazy? No. No, not IGL. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean. I mean, in-game Lee. This is, this is a strong roster. Strong it is strong. I think it's like where I'm leaning is like mid or high B. Again, it's like a it's like a we should be seeing them at champs, right? I at uh, least want them above giants. Above C9? Yeah. Yes. Above bleed? Yes. This is a team. I mean, they did make lands last year, and I think this roster is better. I think they have a better roster. Um, yeah, I agree with that. We don't really know much about yeah, I mean, I think, I think and he's playing. Fair. Um uh, I feel weird about putting them above some of the teams in the B tier. Really? I yeah, I put really this team don't. in the same kind of the same areas where like R Q is maybe. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. They I have, mean, but, I, but it's like T one. If they kept the exact same roster and just changed out Munchkin for King, like that's just like a better roster, and that's essentially what they did with maybe some, with the. But now they've thrown in X and Rossi for some fucking rando gamma rays through the fucking <laughs> team here. So I don't know. Like, yeah, my expectations like are kind of all over the place for it. I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know. That, that's just where I'm feeling. Where I want the team to be placed based off the vibes, the feels. So. I don't know. I mean, obviously, don't know how this team is going to function. Can't really pick out the roles. They have overlapping roles. They have seven players. I, but just looking at player talent. Player talent expectations, I, I have to have them somewhere at the top of B. I, I just don't yeah. think you can deny Zeta, Saya, and uh, King. And then I throw think... in any of... <laughs> I'm, I'm still worried about the like... IGLing problem for them, to be honest. Because I think it's the same... This, I, it would be disingenuous of me to rate them highly when I also just, like, knock down Gen G for the same shit and other teams. Like, I just think it that... Didn't you but say that you were liking their calling when it was Zeta and not Munchkin, right? Yeah, it got better, but and even he's still, it was it will it wasn't I, it wasn't great. Like I think it was it was a massive improvement, but there was still like at champs, it was a almost like a return to form. To be honest, like it was pretty disappointing when I was watching them. I just think their talent is so yeah. I, their talent just I don't I'm not gonna say so much better, but their talent definitely surpasses the on paper talent of Gen G. I just can't even I can't have them really close to wow. You guys put Gen G low. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but but it's like, uh, too, dude. that was the one I missed. You guys are going crazy with Gen G down there. Don't... It was pretty fast. You want We can make an adjustments when we're done. Yeah, yeah. I, I I like that I spot like for T one. I want them lower, but I think they have potential to go even higher than that. But I think that's an okay spot. All right, what do you think, Sliggy and Connor? Uh, I think moving I like to you. like next to bleed is nice, really, because there's a few unknowns. Like like in front of bleed maybe like I feel I feel like these two will be in a similar level, but I would expect T one to be. I like T one more than Giants though. So I I think T one have a lot more upside than bleed. I mean unless maybe if Ye is just you know back to peak performance, you know that's a difference maker. But I think in a more reasonable world, T one have a lot more. Upwards potential than believe. I agree. I like um, T. I like T one. I view T one in like a sitting around like a. I like them better than Giants, and I like them sitting around like that C nine vitality kind of like area. You no, know? that's where I because I feel like Liquid to me is kind of like slightly edge past that in terms of the B tier. Like that's that's how I feel about T one. You know, not yeah. everyone has to agree, but you yeah, know I what? Don't. Life's filled with haters. We're, so. I don't agree. We're split two and two. I don't agree, but also the what we, if we, split we can move the, on? If we split the difference, they go ahead of Cloud Nine. I don't think that's reasonable. Here's what I, I think we just do this. <laughs> Does that look good? Yeah, what if we just put... But I feel just like putting Giants behind Bleed is kind, of, is kind of fucked up, though. Yeah, it is no, kind of fucked wh up. Why? Yeah, is no, Giants... Is. Why? Because Bleed, Bleed is... I was in the bathroom is, when you were talking Bleed Giants, a, but, like, no. I... Is Giants below Bleed fucked up? Bleed, if... 
I think, Dude, I, don't, of, I think Giants I don't are too high on B. S- yay at 75% of peak yay plus scary and crazy guy. Is a, is a good team. Yeah, but I don't we don't know if we're getting peak <laughs> yay back, like, man. Cloud's like one of the most underrated players. Cloud is, Cloud is fantastic, right? yeah, but... Dude, can we, can we pull up the Giants for a second? Uh, we'll, Dude, we'll, the Giants are it's good. We'll do a re- the I Giants like the Giants. We'll, we'll, just plus let's do a revision when we're done. We'll, let's but do they, talent. Yeah, all right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. They lost okay. their idea. Um, talent. Uh, talent is, changing the team, right? They, we don't know comments. the full roster for Talon yet. It's got like Patapan, Cruz, and like Jit Boys, I think. That's yeah, what's listed on there. Comments. The rumor roster is, uh, yeah, still Cruz, Patapan, Jit Boys, and then uh, Hicks, who's an Australian player, and Governor. <laughs> it was like what I saw on a spreadsheet. I don't know if that's Am still... I the only one that like felt that this roster had potential? Like like actually yeah, they like did. good potential and they just like they were just a run in the most crazy shit we've ever seen. Like they just <laughs> yeah, I mean, pan on what was the... pan on every agent, triple jewelist on split. Triple jewelist like, on split. What, 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 <laughs> these guys were just on something, bro. Like I don't get what happened. And and now some of them get kicked for it. I think it's a bit brutal. Like I I'll actually be pretty critical to like a lot of teams. I think they don't take escapes and everyone's just trying to like make sure they don't lose their job. These guys went the opposite. They were just like, fuck my job, man. Here we go, triple jewelist on split. Let's go. Like they were just on something. It's wild. Yeah. I totally I, agree. Yeah. If if they were in a more reasonable, non Navi inspired land, I, Garnett's had a. I, yeah. I re- always liked Fox, good. And, and Garnett's was good. I, yeah, I I do agree with that sentiment. I don't. Uh, um, yeah, we don't know this fucking really. roster, huh? We're I, we're in an right. NRG situation. Well, they do have a decently rumored roster, but I I, I just don't think. I think they're in the C. I category. think they're in the C as well. I don't. I think they would be below. Yeah. I like that spot actually, between Crew <sighs> and Heretics. I could live with that. Actually, maybe yeah. below Heretics. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I can live with yeah. this. I, sure. I think that's fair. Because how, sure. but, but, brother, how do we have Genji below town? Well, we're gonna we're gonna adjust this. We're gonna address this. <laughs> we'll adjust. We'll adjust. It'll be. But adjust. also, they okay. they it have they have role issues. Their IGLing is not gonna be good. Like if they got Munchkin doing it, I just know it's not gonna be good. Like they mm. they have problems. That team has problems. Even though the players are good, yep. we could be stats Andes and rate them high. But uh, all right, know. team secret. They made one move. They have NDG in the roster. Yesterday, Vash was impressive last season. They got, they got Envy as well. Surprised. Yeah, individually wise, this is a strong team. Jeremy and Envy. Like, I think Envy's like one of the best in Pacific. Like, he's in my top, like, probably top 10, to be honest. Like, if I'm actually thinking about it, like, I think he's really, really good. Crazy underrated. So, I don't know. I, I think I like this team. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'd put him in this. Maybe like, I do just group him in the Bs again, is where I'm yeah, in the think... but. Maybe they I would put them. I don't think I would put them above. I wouldn't put Cloud them above nine. D1 personally. You sure? I, I I think of all the APAC teams that we have in the B tier, I do think they're the, they're going to be the most reliable. I feel like I know what I'm going to get from this team for sure. Which is, and even last year, I felt like they were one... To me, they were a team in APAC that you could always rely on. They were just a rock-solid, upper-mid-table team. They never really faltered from that. Maybe at the very end at LCQ, I think they were more of a shoe in to make it um, when they lost to Zeta, but... Even still, I think they were so reliable that I, I want to yeah, have were, them in a reliable, upper-mid-table spot. I don't think they can go spot. above T1, though. Like, T1, literally, it's like if they kept the roster essentially the same and just added King, like, T1 was beating them last year, too. And, like, they made one... They've added NDG, but, like... Yeah. I mean, I also think T1 should just be higher, and then I would put Secret below I them. don't think... I, I know for a fact... I know my one strong stance is that Secret should not be above T1. That's my strong stance. Okay, no, I actually... Really? I, I, I agree with Connor. I have more hope for Secret than T1. I think they're kind of on the same level, so I'm actually all right with it in terms of, like, where I view them. I view those teams as pretty, pretty much equal. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll adjust later. <laughs> Finally, Zeta Division. I'm listen. You're I'm putting put them A tier. A tier. That's A tier. A tier between Loud and Sentinels. Ew, what? That yeah. is insane. I don't think it's insane. 
This, that is this team has been hamstrung by two players for years. Somehow won LCQ. Depp last year turned into a legitimate world-class duelist. Laz has retained that super high skill level. Sugar Zero was okay last year. Wasn't great. Not a detriment. Hero Run looked very solid in the tournament they just played. You're in. I, kind of jury's still out for me a little bit. But with no fucking Depp, who has been their best player in this past year... They went two and two against C9 at Red Bull on maps. Yeah. If they had depth, they are clapping C9. <laughs> Seriously, they are. It's over. They beat C9 four or three zero. I'm si I'm dead serious. I, I really I think Zeta this year they are going to be c a consistent making uh, international tournaments team, and they're going to finish between that like seventh to twelfth spot. They're either going to go out in like win a game in groups and go out or make playoffs and, and be one of the teams that goes out first. That's where I have them ranking. I need them in that area on the list. I am so high on this team this year. They were unreasonably good for two. They had two players that just shouldn't have been at, at yeah, that level. And they, they were still I think, winning LCQ. It's outrageous. I think they're, they're fucking going off this year. I swear to God. And it's not just because I, I it's, 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 it's not bias. It's not bias. Yeah. I, I think swear what Slicky to God. has to say. They, I no, will no, say Zeta he's, winning. He's convinced me. Zeta winning <laughs> LCQ <laughs> who was, who, who the hell was playing chamber for them? Was it Depp? And what else? You know, it's Laz. Laz on the on the chamber. Yeah, so Laz back. They, Laz carried them. The Laz, the Laz chamber. I swear, to, look at the amount of Lotus maps they played on like their final string of wins. And I swear to God, teams were just not. They weren't keeping up with the Laz chamber because that man was taking liberties on Lotus as a map. They were. They were doing business to teams because it was just was never getting removed yes, at Red Bull. and so much of that so much of their play in lcq was was based on essentially that it really just gave them the leg up i i think i'm more high up on this team because of uh, carlisle i think adding an outside influence into the team because i always thought that they were just way too restricted in how they play they love to play slow because it was the style that actually got them far in Reykjavik all those years ago and so they really could only stick to that one place that would have running down the clock but it, and it has it has added a, uh, something a bit extra you, you can see that when they played but I did not know they had this platoon of staff they brought in Cal Carlisle was the head coach <laughs> yeah, Crow, that's crazy. who was playing is now a coach they have an assistant coach and three analysts yeah this, yep. uh, that is they, they believe they, in the power of data <laughs> this, is, this is insane they I definitely mean, do but the I, staff is bigger than the player roster. Laz was playing KJ for them at Red Bull, and he was fantastic. He okay, was I he was super. I just don't think so. Where do you want to put them? Because A, I don't think they Kurt, should be A. Pull it up, please. I don't think they should be A. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think they should be A. Think I think I'm putting them A between Loud and Sentinels. So unreasonable. That's high. Compromise and That's them below high. Sentinels. No, th Dude, I, there is I'm no yes, they're going to be at a 7th through 12th team in the in the world. I think they're going to be better I mean, than last year. I mean, I guess year. when we, you know, there's, see the thing, okay, the thing is though too, they're going to look higher on this list because we don't have a few of the, because uh, we, we don't have the Chinese teams on this list. Like if we had EDG, yes, EDG would be up there but, high in the A tier and putting pushing them a little bit lower. You know what I mean? But it, as it stands here, I I don't think so. When Zeta are sick this year, I don't year, think so. We'll I just need it. We'll, we'll come back to we'll this. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. We will. We will. We I will. I swear we to will. God. It's just. And I'm no stranger to admitting I'm wrong, but I just can't see it. I mean, the roster's going to be better, but the bar was in the fucking ground. And I'm going to tell you, too, you're not coming back to this moment for Madrid <laughs> if the only two teams that qualify are DRX and PaperX and Zeta get like third or fourth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about the events sure. later. Yeah, and if yeah. they when make more that to... tournament, though, then come back to this moment. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but for now, it's just too much. I think they can't it's, put them in oh, put them in a head to head against too much. put them in a head to head against all those A tier teams. I think they are not winning. Nah, I I, I would back them against Fury. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I, I you would wouldn't back, back them against, against Foot. No. Uh, With depth? Nah, not, not, no. not at the moment. I, dude, I'm really high up on this foot team, to be honest. But um, I, I'm, I, like, I agree with what you're saying. I actually think they're, I think they're 80. They, I, think that's, that's, I think that's fine. From, I what, think I, from very, what I saw, small sorry. data, like I'm in for it, dude. Like, I think they're good. And you're way too passionate for me to disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually just... You're scaring, you're scaring the hoes. Like, this is so fucked up. Like, I can't believe it. Like, this, I mean... I mean, every man gets one team they're allowed to go 
like crazy mode four, and this could be your <laughs> moment. You know, every man gets one. Uh -huh. yeah. so, it used to be Zeta I, I, and Hunter I Thieves, but Hunter Thieves just caused me pain, and I I just can't do it anymore. I just I can't I can't do so it. I'm allowed you, to, I think I think Zeta A is. I think you made a good argument for Zeta to be an A tier team. I don't think you have a good argument for them to be up there with Loud. I, I really like this position. I think this is extremely fair, and I, I think what Wyatt's saying could happen. At but Red I Bull. think right now. This is extremely fair. At Red like, Bull as well. <laughs> Foot lost to C9. Fucking Zeta went 2-2 two two against C9 without their best player. Fellas, I'm begging and pleading. <laughs> I know. I'm begging. I'm not believing in transitive pleading. property like that. You can't that do it. That just means they're all around the same level without their best player, dude. And... Dude, he's he's, he's seething. He's seething. I'm still fine with G2 and A, but... They, they they just haven't done enough to convince me in this offseason, and Zeta have convinced me, even though they played like five maps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Zeta have convinced me because they were they won the LCQ with ten and Crow. Yeah. Okay. Damn, bro, what the hell? They did, but there was bro, literally hate ten and Crow. We hate did, those guys. Guys. I'm telling you, teams hey, for some Crow, reason, great guys, never met them, but they they weren't, you know. They, they got fucking. They got a free win on Lotus every time because teams wouldn't ban it against them, and they didn't watch any fucking vods against them. It's fine. So they got Listen, they got pumped up because of that. Everyone knows where I stand. I'll allow them to be there. In a, <laughs> I'll allow them no, to no, be no, below. No, 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 no. Put them. This still, uh, listen, I'm okay with it. It still falls within my range of 7 through 12, even if EDG are there. I can deal with this. I can go to sleep okay. tonight comfortably with this. Okay? Now. Okay. Let's make any final adjustments here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, while this is happening too, the global esports founder is like adding us on Twitter because I guess... <laughs> I guess the comments we made were everyone's blowing up at them or something. I mean, yeah, who saw that coming? Dude, yeah. Who, <laughs> yeah. who saw that? The, the rabid fan base just uh, being empowered. Dude, I who, found that just funny. fucking make sure they have fun. That's all I say. Just make sure they <laughs> I have agree. fun. I, I don't fun. Just, I just, just make sure they have fun. Um, okay. From here, any adjustments? Oh, my. Oh. Okay. What is going Liquid on here? Okay, tell me. Whoa. Dude, bro's okay, going let's... rogue. No, What's Kurt, happening? Kurt is yeah, acting, he's shacked and a fool on this episode. Okay, I, th I, th I think Genji is the first one we need to address, but I genuinely okay. think they, sure. I don't have faith in their IGLing. The player quality is fantastic, but they also have roles is uh, role issues right now because um, if they don't have texture on Jet, they've got Meteor on Jet, and Meteor doesn't know the fucking, doesn't know, doesn't know the S key if he looked no, down on his keyboard. Not. Like, he just fucking ints. Like, they, there's no, I just don't have a lot of faith in them, but I would still put them, I think, above... MIBR and Koi, but not above Okay, the sure. Other teams. I'll give you that. I'm okay with... I would put them above Talon. No. No. I don't think I would. Maybe. I don't know. It's so hard to you tell. You wouldn't put them above Talon? I yeah. mean, Shinji were the kings of mid last season and they placed above them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but they... I mean, I think the problem is there is that they lost... I mean, Shinji lost... A, like, obviously Munchkin, I think, is a very talented... Like obviously he's a very talented player, but I I, I think they, they think the loss of King is huge. King is like one of the best players in Pacific. Like King is so fucking good, and they don't have King anymore. Like I, I just don't think like they've essentially still have a bunch of their similar issues, and now they've just lost one of the best players in Pacific. Like that's that that like I just don't think they have the juice, man. I think they're juiced out. I think they got no. I, they, I think there's no juice left. I, I think they've been squeezed. I, I think you're right. Totally agree with King, but they definitely shedded some of the, you know, the fat from the rest of the roster, and I think it's a little bit more well-rounded right now. Um, I just i I have to put I just have to put them above talent. I have to. I mean, I, I think, think it's fine then. Let's, let's, let's do that. In terms of what's been what, proven, I think that's kind of fair. I mean, might, exactly. Yeah. It's just what's we're, been proven. We're that's splitting what hairs as well at a certain point. point. The hairs are getting split. It's, and are, are we, whole, um, we all know the whole point of this is to just get people angry. So, like, just <laughs> we just need to get... What, what, we've got controversial aspects. We've got... We got well, it's not even controversial, I don't think. But G and F, listen, that's going to rile people up. We know that. Sen, I think if you really wanted to rile people up, get Sen, in, get Sen above Fnatic. Um, and that would just like that would just complete that would complete the look, to be honest. But I, we'll, we'll I keep them genuinely, there. Genuinely, we don't have to do this, but I genuinely would like would like to just take EG off the list. 
No. It, it, because what? No. We, okay, well, if we're rating them with that stellar Corey Jojimo calm, and then like and God knows who the fifth is, I'm just going to say screw F. face. Where are we? And they're not F. Four. Yeah, they're above they have everyone in C yet. easily. I don't. They're above a ton I of think, the teams in B. I think. I think we've seen evidence that there's a lot of talented rosters that don't get supported properly. That don't. They just don't do well in, in especially in a seasonal environment that we're heading into. Yeah, they didn't have support last season, and Potter they, made they, some fucking magic. Happen. They had. They had a head coach well, and an yes, assistant coach. Yeah, they, they had a secondary roster to yeah, scrim you're right. against. You're they right, had right, a lot right, of right. support. Also, they had. They got paid. Also, they got paid reasonable money. Yeah, still they, they, that's also, is, all right. You're all right. This is EG. But I still <laughs> believe in Potter. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah, I believe you're in Potter as well. I think. I think I'm spreading misinformation. You can have. Yeah, you can have a really good coach, but still have your team underperform. It's. 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 It happens sometimes. Um. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, I think we're going to be right. They, they, I think this is I, a I my, my only, team. They have to be minimum oh, top of C. But we yeah, don't I, I think my only two that. things are EG. I'm not sure about because again, we have no idea. And Furia, I feel like I need more convincing that they should be there. I don't. Know I agree with that. that. I would maybe put them between <laughs> Liquid them and Vitality behind. or yeah, at least like above. Behind. Furia, Furia could have. The, the narrative of this completely shifts if Furia. Don't lose like two rounds of one v ones on Haven, and don't choke on Lotus against Lev. I mean, and the ma and the match goes the distance. The narrative nah, completely it's, it's still, shifts. It's still off season though. I think it's like you can only you can only judge so much. It yeah, like for a, sure. There, 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 there were loads of like one v ones and stuff that could have gone different. But in terms of like confident A tier, I don't know. Like they have potential, like for sure. But I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. feel like confident enough to push them above like uh, like some of the other teams. I guess. Like a liquid vitality, maybe. Um. All right. And then EG is a. You know. <laughs> uh, EG's just. Kurt, EG's did you just, just get that text? All right. Um. For the audio listeners and the viewers, our landlord's coming by, but we'll we'll continue the show. I'm just letting them know that we're having yeah. we're doing a show. They need to check out the compound. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you cover up the bullet holes? So before then, we could. <laughs> <laughs> before he, before he come in. Uh, okay. Anything else quick on this tier list? Let's let's take another peek. Uh, we we I think we just need to lock I'm it in and live it. with our demons. To be honest, just yeah. I'm just okay send with SNA. It. Well, actually, I think NRG haunts me honestly. But the problem <laughs> yeah, is that NRG. Does I mean, me like, too. what am I? I mean, what are you supposed to do? Is anyone else haunted by DRX? In well, no, actually, no. That's, that's fine. No. That's fine. I'm not haunted by DRX at all. In fact, I'm living a very spiritless existence there. I've banished okay. those. A is fine. B. So okay. B. We have Liquid and Vitality and Fury of the Giants. Loud nine T one. I think we just lock it in. I, I think we. Really I think we've been on it too long. Needs to be higher. Nah, bro, just, Okay, we'll send lock it, it in. Send it, Comment send below it. what you think we <laughs> fucked up the most. Exactly. We'll, we'll lock Just, it in. It's the way too early the tier EG list. EG and F is ridiculous. It, no matter what team they have, I don't. there's no way they're going to be worse than those Do you think it's interesting that there's an EG and a GE in F tier? What's going on with the It's crazy. No. <laughs> I mean, what's happening there? I'm sorry, we have... Mm -mm, mm -mm. EG, you want it to be so EG? Stupid. It's locked in. Yeah. It's <laughs> driving me. It's locked in. That is asinine. Okay, no, but it can't be locked in because, okay, here's my question. If we're doing, but I guess Kurt said, are, so are we doing the worst case scenario for EG, right? Is that what we're doing, not well, the best case? Well, if we're case? doing the best case scenario for these other teams, then yeah, the inherently EG is not going to have those fucking players. That's yes. true. That but is true. Gonna so it has so to be worse case. But, but, but they're, they're also they're cutting the salaries than... and there's there's less coaches and they don't have a secondary roster to practice against and the company from and top to bottom on the is crumbling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, they're, the they're, they're still not F tier. <laughs> they're still like a B tier team. Even with, I know. Even if I know. even just pick up two two American players, like it's Oh, no, I think like, that's the thing. Don't move. I just don't don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. do because EG is the worst org in all. Yes. The keep them yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, EG. Well, are we rating the organization? Yeah. Or no, we're not. But we're the no. guys. We've already. We've already. We've spoken oh. about this. We've spoken about this. this. We've spoken about this. Killing me. Okay. I can't take. We're moving on because I can't take it anymore. Yeah. Because I can't take. We'll revisit this later. No, 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 no. Take a screenshot here. Whatever you want to do. Just lock. Just lock this in. This is fine. Okay. We'll we'll change it. Right, and, uh, we'll change it. The image. We'll change it later. We'll see how wrong we were looking in like two, two three months time. Okay. Um, okay, guys. Make sure reason. afterwards we photo we Photoshop this, and no one will know because we didn't mint this on the Plat Chat blockchain. So they, there's no <laughs> rec record. There's no ledger to know that this is a <laughs> image. 
Okay. All right. Excellent. Um, okay, let's keep this thing pushing. Yep. Do we want to... Uh... <laughs> Poo emoji. Do we want? <laughs> yeah, All right. Do we want to uh, do these really quick, Kerr? What are you thinking? Yeah, we can. The landlord texts me back. She's like, "I'll be very, very quiet." So okay. Uh, <laughs> okay right. cool. Well, even then, I think we're gonna move through this fast. Yeah. The China Evolution Series main event starts this week. Um, and the top eleven teams make it into VCT partnerships. Is that no? Correct? They make it into um, it's Ascension. Oh. They played again to Ascension. Yeah, this so they're is doing crazy. China's doing Ascension first and then the partnership after. This is why it's it's just entirely fucked. It's been like four oh, months of straight. So, okay, so four months clear, of straight then. gameplay. If you win, you want to get the guest slot, which is two years, and then the, and then presumably they're already like all these orgs are already having discussions about the partnership and who's going to make it in. But yes, wait. because of the wait, ordering. Wait, 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 wait. What? They're yes. telling me that these orgs competing to go to Ascension could potentially already be partnered. Yes. I yeah. think so. What the fuck crazy ass <laughs> bullshit is happening? Yeah. I mean, because it, it, it needs to be like, sorted. Because what happens if a partner team takes a team slot that could is not partnered? Like they nah. would take the ascension. But then is, also, do they just, just like get... the closest? Isn't it just the closest that isn't in franchise? I have no in idea. I don't know how they're gonna do it. There's no details really that have been <laughs> that have been released about it. But from my mind, these this system, like this the, the, the this tournament that's about to be played in like two days' time in China, is the point system that qualifies you for ascension in China. And this is the reason as well that the league's gonna be starting later because this entire thing is being pushed because China needs to have parity for competitive integrity reasons with every other region as well. This is why it's all being pushed. This is madness. So, yeah. So, there could but be a team. Uh, so, EDG could win the whole thing. In fact, it's likely that they win the whole thing and they're only in the league for two years. <laughs> unless, <laughs> so unless, they <laughs> unless they retroactively... Unless they retroactively then they give them to... a spot and then just knock it down to the next yeah. the next placement, the I next mean, placing be, partnership like, team. EDG need to throw. I don't fucking know. Yeah, exactly. That's why... This is why it's so silly. It's just a silly, silly concept. That no, but that there's a chance at. that also EDG has also earned partnership already and if they win Ascension, it doesn't matter, is what yes. I'm hearing here too. Yeah, and, like, then, and then what happens? Does it go to the, uh, go to the team that made finals <laughs> that came second? I like, think what's going to happen is if EDG win this, they're going to just eviscerate the 11th slot from China. No, They'll it's, just have 10 they, they, that's just not an option because they need parity with every yeah. other region in I terms know. of the schedule. They, like, they uh, simply can't have a team Lord. that could get partnership taking an Ascension slot from a team that's not going to need partnership because that doesn't make, I mean, that's just fucking, like you could have, like, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm simply blown away by the system that is in place here. <laughs> like, that's fucking, I mean, this is, this, this is madness. Yeah, I mean, this is some fucking Han Dynasty China bureaucratic crazy shit that I'm seeing here. Like, this, I mean, I, I don't know what the hell I was looking at. I think the better option <laughs> with the power of hindsight would have been to just um, let China exist organically and not do partnership until the following year and then just have your Ascension teams be... Um, so are, is I don't know what this is. This is what is Flynn the, has. The, oh, yeah, for the teams is, that are most it, likely to make it, partnership. It's all rumors, though, isn't it? But it, I yeah, it's there's all like eight or, or eight or seven that are like pretty not confirmed, but obviously everyone's confident in the rumors. And then I feel like the other three or two slots are, are not confirmed yet, or at least not rumor confirmed yet. And then whoever I honestly think it's whoever comes like best out of the non-partnered teams in this tournament go through as well from the ascension thing i'm pretty sure that's what it is they take away like the top 10 ascension teams or whatever and whoever's like not in this 10 that came like best in this tournament go through that has to be it surely what madness i don't i don't know i the best thing that they should have done is not shift the entirety of the scheduling and squeeze it all in when they when the schedule we know that there has to be more matches because there's 11 teams and instead just have it next year where it's a nice round number like it's 12 teams entering and then you do it and then you just have ascension b if you win the upper finals if you win the lower finals you make it in i think that that made more sense but they must have had their own reasons as to wanting to to move this along and actually get it in place um yeah it just seems it seems quite chaotic and uh, i could be wrong about some of these details but it was very hard to find them i was like digging this morning just trying to find shit. I can i couldn't find much i from from everything that i found it looks like ascension is being played first and the, and before the partnerships decided. Well, if you're interested, this stuff is happening. Um, like two days. Two days. So yeah. if you want to watch a bunch of Chinese Valorant, you're gonna have a ton of it to but watch. But this is just this is again this is just for points. Yep. This isn't the Ascension itself. Ascension is in December. Are you gonna coast? Oh wait, it's a oh I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Some of the days. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. It's completely... Okay, now I get you. Yeah. Well, then I have no idea, bro. I thought it was this <laughs> tournament. No, this is this is for points still, like this this coming up. And then like it seeds the teams into Ascension in December. That is so oh, it's, it's wild and wacky. We need probably need some more information. I might do some more digging. But... Hey, I'll tell you what, though, as much as we're flaming it, I kind of like the whole... Um... The whole system of having a lot of tier two teams against tier one teams in theory that'll be cool in some other regions. Not that yeah. I think it's the greatest thing that's going on, but I actually feel like that'll be fun to watch. No, the tournament season. is fun. There's nothing yeah, wrong with the tournament. Yeah. It's the implications <laughs> of the tournament that are fucking yeah, 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 insane. Yeah. That's the as tournament. As long as we is agree, fine. though, tournament's kind of sick. All right, make sure to tune into Sluggy on Twitch if you want to watch that co-stream. And okay. all right, finally, Sluggy, I need your honest take. And your real thoughts on who's going to win the world's 2023 grand final? <laughs> let's let's see. I have the pop up ready. Do you want to? We, oh, we, 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 all, we all predicted. Up? We all predicted. All done, yeah. yeah. So, for those that don't know, T1, legendary League of Legends squad, org, <sighs> Baker, are going against Weibo Gaming in the world's final. And all of us are huge League of Legends fans. So, we're yeah. going to be predicting. Yeah. We've all watched a lot of League of Legends this year. So, we have very good opinions on I'm this. I'm definitely not Googling the rosters right now. Let's so go. Would you know any of the players on them? No. On Weibo Gaming? No. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa here whoa, we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> you want Weibo? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, I like you don't that, want Faker though. to get his fourth Sorry. title? No, yeah, I mean, that would does. be a cool narrative, but he's not going to be able to stop the Shy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the Shy actually is apparently and, goated. And Crisp. And others. I don't know about that. I, I've heard Shy you match of the, the shot. week. <laughs> yeah, this is the match of the week. Um, this is um, that's no Platchat guarantee now, right? So it's confirmed. It's confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Faker yeah. is Faker is gonna it. win. Faker's the, getting um, it. Yeah, the uh, nice. you know Faker is one of the only players from a game outside of StarCraft. I I, I think this might still be the case. That's received the uh, the Bon Bonjoa, I think Bonjoa, which is like a Korean title, and he's like whatever? holding holding the throne. And it's oh, like they've okay. only given it to Star Starcraft players and Faker, um, but it's like a it's like high a high 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 accolade in Korean esports. Well, didn't oh, Faker cool. also get a military service exemption and BTS did not? Yes, because he won a gold medal. Yeah, so, yep. <laughs> so yep. I mean that's, that's also I mean to me like obviously like the honorifics are a big deal over there, but like to me the crazier part is they're like okay like. Bro, Faker, you do not have to be in your mandatory military service. But BTS, your ass is better. Jungkook, I better see you on the front lines right now <laughs> patrolling the DMC. Dude, because yeah. that shit is crazy. Uh, but, dude, uh, Fion on Fire has... He he is a sucker for storylines. I'm a sucker for storylines in esports as well. I always usually watch most big esports events and just try and follow the big narratives. But the big one for this is like, as far as I'm aware, like Faker's been to, I think this will be his eighth final that he's been to in League of Legends, like the for the World's final. Finals, and um, if he wins, it'll be the fourth one he's ever won, which no, no player I don't think has ever, yeah. ever, 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 ever done. So one of the most accoladed players just in, yeah, in, in League of Legends history. Um, but yeah, Fion, Fion's Twitter has a ton of stuff on that. Like he just always, he's popping off about the storylines all the time. That's, cool. that's on its own is ridiculous though. Like that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like if he, he, he won 10 years ago, apparently. Like that's just insane. No one does that in esports really. Yeah. That is yeah. Maybe like some and great he, it's, players it's, or something. Well, I, think, I mean, I remember I, the videos yeah. of him going to China and he gets like, swarmed by fans he shows up in the airport and you would think this is the second coming of christ you would be yeah. like that like like, like that people are going crazy for the and then like and then also i mean like the storyline like i think some of the promotional material for like like you know we know um we've been seeing like you know some of the promotional material coming out of lol east like league of legend esports for like the crazy shots of like his head like when he lost previously and then it's like him coming up yes like, the, Dude, the him, transition like, oh! material was so Ooh! fucking good and and ties into the uh the bonjour thing that i was talking about which is like the throne he's sitting the on the throne, throne yeah. with his teammates around him dude they, they so that was good. a that was a nasty so piece that they did actually in, that shit in is crazy and then like the thing where he's like he was playing like what he was playing like golden shower or whatever no the golden road yeah I think this one here yeah. <laughs> golden road the golden <laughs> shower <laughs> don't look that up if you're just don't look that up um they, but like and then they're like yeah like i can't wait to like it was something like i yeah, the was, golden he, road, he dropped like one of the one of the toughest no, no, it's not even that line. He dropped even a tougher line shortly after that, where it's like, it's like we will go, we will beat T1 or whatever. It was like one of the Golden Road players said, and then 
bro or like we'll go past them in the road or some shit and then like faker's just like remember all roads lead to me was dude, yeah, like that, I mean, shit that is hard as fuck that is tough dude, that's that fucking tough, tough right there holy like shit. my god that yeah. shit was like okay this means something to me man i don't even like dude, that shit is ass <laughs> but like i'm like i'm a big fan of that line that oh goes crazy my. all right let's send this sucker home yeah <laughs> Welcome to Wyatt's Weekly uh, Award, or should I say reward, because this week the winner gets to choose their prize. A banana? A wireless Dyson vacuum? A television? <laughs> I don't have an outro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, deserve it. <laughs> what was that? Okay. And deservedly right. so. Uh, it's another cheat code one. If you get married, if you got a pet, if you have a baby, or if you propose, yep. you're winning. Vansilly, congratulations. Beautiful child. Yep. Vansilly's a, a, a fantastic person, truly. Uh, you know, yep. honored to be good friends with him. Um, an absolutely lovely guy. The biggest congrats to him. And... Need we say more? No, I don't think so. I, I mean, I, yes. I have so. a question, by the way. Yeah. I just have a question. As we get older due to the linear passage of time, are we going to put an exemption for people having children for not winning weekly awards <laughs> as well? Um, simply because there's an eventuality. I now granted, due to our generational changes, like we're yeah. probably gonna be less children than in the previous generations. So like this is I a guess great technically question. we don't have but to. I think if they're relevant in the scene, then yeah, because it's a it's a good fee, right? If, you, if maybe if you haven't been relevant for like two years, you're out. Maybe a <laughs> you're saying there has to be a time gate on yeah, the child. Yeah, that has to be. Well, no, until you were relevant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Like if 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 you hadn't attended, like, a, say, if we're just talking players, like, if you weren't in franchising for the last two years, then you can't get it. Oh, like you're not you're not eligible for it. What? Yeah, Connor, so. you're you're just saying we just stop giving it to people for having kids. Well, you stopped giving it to. You said we're gonna stop giving it to people for getting married. No. I would say, yeah, I, that definitely happened. When did I it say was that? Like, wasn't that? Wasn't didn't you exempt everyone that's any future people that oh, were ever that get was, married, or is that that was in a Brent's that was of the week. that was and in Brent's player of the week over in the Overwatch show, which also oh, I haven't so been on saying, in two okay, years. Okay, okay, but that okay, was I'm I just said I, I just gave it. It's a flat out. If you are if you get married or if you've ever been married or if you will get married in the future, you are a winner of the award. That's what I did. Exactly. Oh, okay. And then we just... Oh, okay. But that means it's not a specifically announced. It's already been like pre It's already done. happened. Like, it's yeah, like, they just don't know it's it a, It's like It's like the, you know, it's like arrival. You know, it's like a circular time thing. But like the point yeah. being then, I <laughs> yeah. guess it's like... Exactly. Well, are we going to do that for child, for childbearing as well? <laughs> oh, we're going to have to put an arrival <laughs> <spoiler> <laughs> tag. All right. I don't know about that. All right. <laughs> I'm going to send this thing home. Yeah. Thank you all for watching episode 158. <sighs> 154. <laughs> okay, thank you all for watching. <laughs> so, 154. It's been a nice, fun time. Connor, thank you for joining us. Sliggy, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week for 155. Bye-bye. Everybody, have a good day.